Hello, and welcome back to Game Hole Con. We're going to play some more Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> For the next session, I will be your dungeon master. I am D&D creative director Mike Merles, and joining me are five stalwart would-be heroes. We'll see how the <laughs> dice and your dungeon master treat them. But why don't we start down on this end of the table with introductions. Please introduce yourself as who you are, IRL, as they say online, and who your character is. Uh, hello, I'm Sam Sykes, uh, author, six and a half feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's about all the important stuff about me. Uh, tonight, I will be playing Fogsbury Blood Maw, comma, gentle orc adventurer, parentheses, a barbarian of means and taste. <laughs> and you have to say the whole thing or I won't answer. <laughs> Uh, Can you spell that out, please? My <laughs> character backstory is, is that a half-orc with a monocle? Where did he get it? What does it mean? Is it yours? Is it mine? Someone do something. <laughs> so I think, I think we're going to have a pretty good time. <laughs> Hello, my name is Elisa Teague. I am a board game designer, and I also write for RPGs. I uh, specialize in... Uh, narratives and puzzle design, and yeah, I don't know what else to say. I do a lot of things. You're awesome. um, thank you. Oh, you're so <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is going to be the best you're game awesome. ever. <laughs> no. She also um, does fire. Um, tonight I'm doing fire. Uh, yes. Tonight I am playing a fire genasi uh, sorcerer who thinks too much of herself for what she's actually going to be capable of doing. Her name is Ember Brightsburn, and I have not decided on her accent yet. Uh, People out there, you can influence this. I am horrible at accents. Just fair warning. Where can we find you online? Oh, online you can find me at on Twitter at Geeky Pinup. It's terrible. It's staying. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hello, my name is Monica Valencinelli. I um, write for uh, the hobby games industry, but I also write stories. And tonight I am very excited because I am reprising a younger version of last year's character, um, my character's name is a happier gnome because they're not jaded yet. <laughs> we are we are doing level three instead of level five, but you can influence that. Um, I have a new forest friend named Maze. My hedge's name is Maze, and uh, I will be fighting with my rapier wit and my short sword charm. Um, I am also playing a mastermind who thinks that lots of things are a good idea and is really, really excited about fire and maybe orc things smashy smashy. So that is me. Um, and I am super excited. Oh my gosh, this is going to be fun. Please don't TPK me. <laughs> um, and also because I have a mushroom ocarina, I'm so excited. So uh, you can find me online at booksofm.com or also Books of M on Twitter. And if you donate to Monica, it is literally a hedge fund. <gasps> oh. Oh. I'm here for the puns! <laughs> Woo. More puns wow. coming at uh, you. Yes. So we have one, one character who's already <laughs> ventured to the front of the murder line. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Me first! <laughs> My name is John Kavalik. I'm a cartoonist, an illustrator, and a game designer. I uh, mostly work on the comic strip Darktower. Uh, Darktower.com is the website. <laughs> the comic strip is Dark Tower. Um, I illustrate the game Munchkin. I've drawn about 7,000 cards for the Munchkin game series. Um, I, my daughter was going to roll up my character for me. I wanted to play a half-orc barbarian, which is why I'm again playing a, um, a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I am a tabaxi swashbuckler. Uh, this is, again, I'm reprising my character from last year, although now at third level. I'm playing Ginger Tylek, um, essentially Puss in Boots from the Shrek movies, but with a French accent. We'll Nobody told French. me we could be Shrek characters. And <laughs> I need to re-roll. And I am, I am also apparently about $200 away from having to wear a duck on my head for this game. Just Jeez. saying. Get the Do it. Dog. Let's make it happen. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Alex Kammer. I uh, and welcome. And thanks for all of you for being here in the audience. Uh, I am the director of this convention, Game Holcon. 
I am, uh, I do, thank you, thank you. I do some freelance game design work. Uh, my latest is Sea King's Malice, a, a Kickstarter that just uh, wrapped up and is getting very close to delivering. Uh, and I occasionally practice law on the side. <laughs> um, tonight I am playing a, uh, a human male. His name is Joel, uh, Joel Ostlin. Uh, he is a, um, a, a rather than good looking, he's more of just a pleasant looking fellow and he identifies as cleric. Uh, we'll see what that, <laughs> what actually he does as we get into this game. Thank you. All right. Well, with our brave adventurers introduced, we now set the scene. As the five of you have, after adventuring together for some time and reaching the mighty heights of third level, you can't, you can't get TPK to third level, can you? I mean, that's, you have enough hit points and resources, Hopefully. right? Hopefully. Um, we'll see. We'll see. If you say so. You have ventured in search of some rest and relaxation. It's the early weeks of winter. The cold wind from the north has started to blow. The first snows have blanketed the region. Now, normally, you would not think necessary to go north into the cold and snow for relaxation, but the town of Brindenford each year holds a festival Ooh. to mark the occasion on which an enormous construct of snow appeared in town and rampaged and smashed and destroyed until the town guard valiantly, heroically, plucked atop its head the magic toque that brought it to life. The great construct collapsed to the ground, was defeated. And thus every year, at this time of year, the townsfolk gather, construct another giant snowman to mark the defeat and knock it over during a great festival that sees plenty of uh, wine, food, and song. And thus I eager love for a break from the adventuring life, you are ventured now into Brindenford. Mm. As you come into town, the gate of the main gate and the town wall hanging open, crowds pressing in and out. Everyone from the outlying communities in the area and the region has gathered here for the festival. It's quite famous. You're not the only ones to have heard of it and to look forward to the mulled wine and the fine foods and the street performers and so on. You find yourselves pushing through a crowd. Despite the cold, the great mass and press of travelers, you're all feeling very sweaty under your layers of cloaks and thick woolen garments. Just an hour ago, as you were trudging through the snow, you could think of nothing but the comfort of warmth. But now, with so many people pressed in around you, uh, hawkers yelling, selling their wares, towns guards and pushing angrily th uh, through the crowd, making room for important dignitaries and folk of town, you think could, nothing could be finer than the cold wind that you've just you left behind in the town gates as sweat begins to cake on you. Finally, pushing away through the crowd, you find your way to the Frozen Fiend, a small tavern who perhaps in an earlier venture you helped the owner and he agreed to set aside rooms for you despite this being the absolute peak of the tourist season here in Brindenford. Mm. As you make your way into the crowded tap room, uh, the innkeeper, a burly half-orc, also of fine taste and distinction. Ah, oh, yes, Thogsbury, my friend, ah. Oh. He runs up to you and a little kiss on each cheek. May, may I take an action? Oh, of course. I slap him ah! <laughs> across the face and say, my good sir, Fogsbury, gentle orc adventurer, a barbarian ah! of means and taste. Oh, how gauche of me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Forgiveness. At that Forgiveness. point, I return his kiss. And then in the tradition of half orcs and asserting dominance, I add a third kiss. Oh just to show that I can kiss better. <laughs> you see monocles pop from eyes. <laughs> Power move of such vicious intensity. <laughs> Opening salvo. Already, you see folk greeting each other. Three, four, five, six kits. Soon, the kissing will not stop. But luckily for you, <laughs> as exponentially it grows across town, the innkeeper, Murdoch, gets you a table hustles you over, and soon you have before you heaping plates of the finest foods, goblets of wine, fine ale, all brought to you. It's locally made, right? Of course, local. Mm. He actually pulls out a binder. Oh, this, this chicken, my friend, I have its biography here. It, worked, it was a graduate student. All right, I will <laughs> take, yeah, I will French, take the French <laughs> apology theory. I will take the folder, and I'm going to roll a deception check 
to see if people can figure out that I don't know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Well, tell us, how do you, yeah, unfortunately for you, give away the fact that you're unable to read? It's actually the thesis of the, chick the chicken's thesis. Uh, at least the first page is sort of a summary. What do you, what do you declare about this, this work? It uh, concerns the works of uh, Albert Camus and their influence on mid-20th century slapstick comedy. Oh, I say, oh, I can scarcely understand this bird's pomposity and wit. <laughs> Therefore, it must be of exceedingly good taste. Well done, good sir. And then I kiss him again. <laughs> he looks, he's about to correct you, but then the fifth kiss granted, <laughs> he recoils. Oh, mon dieu! Oh, with this relentless show of power moves, <laughs> ever stop? <laughs> Nay, I suspect, but we shall see. He scuttles away in terror of being one-upped again. So food piled before you. The folk in the tavern now, clearly in Brindenford, you are movers and shakers. You have the eye of almost everyone in the tavern. What do you wish to do? Enjoy well, I yourselves? need to say grace. I need to bless this meal. Oh, a blessing on the meal. Yes, yes. So I pull forth uh, my holy symbol. It's a symbol of Lathander, sort of. Um, much more blingy. And say, the, the Lord of Breakfast sanctifies this meal. Enjoy. You're welcome, everyone. Thank you. What about second breakfast? Oh, of course. Oh, yes, all the breakfast. That's what uh, my deity stands for. He's a staunch advocate of breakfast. I need to clean myself because we're sweaty and gross oh, yes. before this feast, so I start licking myself. Ooh. Oh, point Thanks. of order. <laughs> How does a cat sweat? How does a cat sweat? Exquisitely. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> um, so I, as everyone knows, as a forest gnome, I am a fan of mushrooms. <laughs> Some of them are for eating. Some of them are for burning and smoking. That's exactly my philosophy on mice. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon, I will go back to licking myself. No, I was confused too, but I assumed the smoking was like smoked meats, of course, right? Like to preserve. Yes. yes. That was it. I was trying to recall if I saw my smoking by them. That was a really good mushroom. <laughs> um, so I have some dried psychedelic mushrooms with okay. me, and I decide that people are not having enough fun, and I decide to, you know, creatively add them to the dishes of the people in the tavern. Okay, it's going to be that kind of game. So the, uh, <laughs> wow. right, why don't you give me a stealth check? Okay. To see if your antics go noticed or are unnoticed. <laughs> Okay, hopefully I don't really crap. I got a nine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> on a nine. Um, so you make your way up and you see those waiters coming back and forth in the kitchen. And there's a, like platters coming back. And you have just the right opportune moment to slip a few of your uh, uh, mushrooms into a heaped plate of fresh roasted meat where they look like, oh, that's where they should be. They look like this part of this, the accompanying this meal. When, unfortunately, that platter is brought directly to the table occupied <laughs> by your comrades. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> of whom, I'll let you pick or roll at random. The I'll roll at random, okay. to be fair. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> I've missed gaming with you, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll do one and two, three and four, five and six. And it is you. Uh, <laughs> you yes. see. The fine gentleman mm. orc. Placed before you, elegant, carefully prepared dish, finely roasted strips of beef, apparently accompanied with mushrooms. Oh. Very interesting. Not, not in season this, like, for this time of year. It must be, excellent. must be one of the choicest dishes of the place to have like mushrooms this late and this early in the winter. All right, I'm going, I'm going to breathe in the aroma. <laughs> <laughs> Would I notice her doing this right in front of me? She did get a nice, so why don't you give me a wisdom perception check? Your you DC it. would be nine, that was her check. Um, <laughs> did you take my bet or did you take my bet? That's what I want to know. 
You're sure she must have... But, well. I'm at 100% ones right now. <laughs> Before I started, I said I would roll at least 50% ones. So you're I, beating your projection. Um, yes, but um, in, yeah, in my level, I am not that perceptive, so I do not notice. But even so, um, being a fire-based character in all of this snow, I am not happy. Is there a fire burning somewhere? Oh, yes, there's, there's a nice roaring fire in the fireplace. Then I will simply just take my own plate and... Um, and maybe sit closer to the fire if I can. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, I am not having this cold weather at all. Everyone that makes way for you, considering the great stature your group has already acquired in town. <laughs> mm. So what, what happened to someone who breathed heavily of the fumes of these mushrooms that you've slipped into your companion's meal? The effects are random. <laughs> Some people have unfortunately seen double. Uh, some people see mistake a dwarf example for maybe an orc or a gnome. Um, people's characteristics change. Some people's skin is purple. Sometimes it's green. Is this a, so hypothetically, blood, how blood. many mushrooms would you have to consume to feel all of these <laughs> at once? <laughs> uh, that would be all of them. Let's just do that. Then. All right. Okay. <laughs> My uh, uh, Murdoch would never steer me wrong on this. Of course no, not. <laughs> No, Knowing my refinement and delicate palate. Exactly. Not, not, <laughs> after, not after your brutal show of the most refined greeting possible. So I take out my knife, my big orc knife, and I start very... I stab my meat and my shrooms, <laughs> and I start eating them and basically daring anyone to tell me that I'm not fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Would this be maybe a roll on the wild magic table, what we'd be called for? Or is there... Would I roll to everything? trip balls? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say that would be a perception check. Okay. Excellent. Perception check, please. All right. Uh, with a plus one, 15. 15? All right. Does he see through the veils the other side? Half. Half? All right. Oh, this is... I would, I would just like to, like, a quick note for my 11-year-old daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the ones that are seated here. And the ones seated here. Louisa, just because Sam and Monica are doing it, doesn't make it all right. I didn't I would, know this was supposed to be G-rated. <laughs> was this supposed to be G-rated? Why'd you invite me? Uh, I would just like to say to our audience at home, uh, most drugs are not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Most drugs are bad. A few of them, you know, they'll, they'll complete you. They'll make you feel alive. Penicillin. They'll, they'll make you feel like some, they'll make you feel something, you know? Like after the last decade or so, you might be feeling numb inside and just nothing. <laughs> the drugs that make you feel not that, those are great. Do those drugs all the time. Well, Louisa, this is your father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when Sam says most, he means all of them. Except. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so seeing halfway through the veil, as you're looking about the tavern, it occurs to you, this is strange, since when did Murdoch decorate with so many eyeballs on everything? <laughs> there are eyes everywhere. Eyes on the ceiling, eyes on the wooden beams, eyes in the fire, eyes in the back of people's heads, eyes on the front of people's heads, eyes on, on their palms, on their arms. There are eyes everywhere. And then below the eyes, mouths open that begin to... <laughs> just jibber, 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 jibber. I've... And worst of all... Absolute worst of all is you're watching all these and the eyes. Everyone is just acting as if this is completely normal. The wait staff goes back and forth. Your companion here might be looking at you expectantly, perhaps. All right. Well, you're I would just assume that eyeballs are the latest cheek, the latest fashion. <laughs> I've been away for a long time. I'm catching up. <laughs> this is just how we do things. It's the now. latest thing. It's the latest thing. So I, you know, I try to be cool. <laughs> See, being cool. As yeah, cool yeah. As you can. Should I roll to be cool? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> okay. We'll see. You can be cool for free for now. 
Have you ever looked at your third hand with eyeballs? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really looked at it? <laughs> so as everyone else is enjoying their meal, or getting warm by the fire, you see what looks like a pile of raw meat roll around the tavern, <laughs> spin around, and come to a stop in front of your table. And a thousand mouths open from it, and say what everyone else sees <laughs> is a dapper gnome with a long mustache <laughs> <laughs> hello hello i've heard of you and now what you hear is <laughs> <laughs> i've heard of you yeah yes the new adventures in town ah it's so exciting to meet you all I must have gone quests and everything i keep it warm by the fire there my dear Oh, yes, very excited to see. Very excited. Must be here for the festival. For the festival, of course, right? For the festival, yes. The festival. Oh, we're here for the one. festival. You're a furry one, you are. Odd, oh, that is. But interesting <laughs> nonetheless. And, oh, yeah, you... Raising funds for the church. Ah, oh, of yeah, course, of yeah. course. Charitable work. Charity mm. is the soul of all... Charity. Yes, of charity. <laughs> yes, charity is the soul of charity. Wonderful. Yeah. You are delightful. Where did you come from? Forest. Oh, wonderful, of course. So interesting this time of year. And you, oh, and yes, yes, you need. And what you see is he leans into kiss. What you see is a giant fang maw open up and come lurching toward you. I kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely enough, as the gnome goes to kiss your friend, he full on kisses him on the lips, which in yeah. Brilliant Forward is like a massive power move. Everyone yeah. is just even more pump monocles pop from eyes. <laughs> oh, wow, you're a feisty one. Amazing. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be in the adventuring game, perhaps, here just purely for fun, or maybe looking for a little spot of work, because I might have a task that could use some doing. Really simple stuff. Very simple. Completely above board. No problems. Just, you know, a little errand I need run. And you seem just like the type who maybe could take care of it for me. Will it take us out of this dreadful snow? <laughs> oh, it, you, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, all right, snow is so, I mean, it's, it's already only been a week and I'm already sick of it. Yeah, probably. I mean, maybe, I mean, I mean, I don't want to promise anything, but it's probably not going to be any snow. But I'm not promising that there won't be any snow. Don't worry. I can't, that, just don't hold me to that. Hmm. Maybe you're interested? Maybe well, a little... is, is, the, is the pay good? Because oh, Because that's the pay. really the important. Pay. The pay to the church is, yes. is the church. The church. Fantastic. I mean, I'm not guaranteeing that, but it's one. It's bountiful. I'm sure by whatever standards you have, which I'm sure are very lofty. I'm sure those standards are very high. I mean, I can't I can't guarantee it'll be any good, but it'll be great. It'll be fantastic. You will feel the best payment of all. Warm feeling in your soul. Mm. Keep you warm despite the cold. Mm. Keep it nice and warm, knowing you did a good deed. Mm. Good. What you see is now the hunk of meat has uh, uh, eight tentacles erupt from it mm. and start lunging at you randomly. And then the thing turns to you and goes, All right, well, normally all that bullshit, I'm uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all that stuff about a warm feeling in the soul, no, obviously not. But I like the cut of this thing's scream. <laughs> <laughs> so I say, yeah, let's do it. Ah, oh, wonderful. Wonderful. And you must be the leader, so I'm assuming this is a binding contract. Of course. With all of you, legal entity, five of you together. Probably some sort of tax thing, I'm sure. You know, wonderful, wonderful. Hmm. Um, why don't you finish up your meal, and then uh, meet me outside. All right, I kiss him deeply again, and, oh. and then <laughs> I'll bid him. We'll see him in a second. I'll have what he's having. <laughs> okay, so at this point, I'm very confused. <laughs> and I decide to up my game a little bit with my mushrooms. And I have some powdered mushrooms okay, okay. that I would like to add to a drink. And I say, you know what? That was really interesting. Would you like to try some local ale? <laughs> I assume at this point I'm seeing uh, a spider with sure. my father's face. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Take inspiration. Proffering unto me a smaller spider <laughs> with my mother's face. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, I take it. Now, the question was what you do with a small well, spider. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like in, in the orcish tradition. In the orcish tradition, of, <laughs> of eating the spider. So I consume it, basically. 
mug well, this is going on. Uh, you know, I, I, I do my best to take the mug, but I can't really see the mug right now. I assume that's like the carapace of the spider that Fair has enough. my mom's face. <laughs> and then so I, I will just let that go and just consume the ale. And then I turn to the rest of you and I'll be like... Before, we, before you we, turn, while you were, while you were handing him this drink, um, I just want to like rifle around your sack a little bit with a sleight of hand. Oh, and see you can try. Bad. Uh, what else do you have of there? Hand check. Roll to oh, wow. rifle sack. Uh, 25. 25. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you are a sack rifling <laughs> machine. <laughs> Does he find? Which I assume with a 25, you are like, like just, you have like a GPS going I've got on an there. inventory going. Yeah, I've got, right, yeah, I've got like, that for that. <laughs> well, he finds a stuffed goblin. <laughs> <laughs> he finds a mushroom that has been hardened and turned into a flute. Uh several other powders and concoctions of things that are not labels, so you don't know if they're healing or poison or more drugs. I'll take two of or those. Or things that help. <laughs> they are completely not labeled. And, I'm down with that. And I cannot promise what is in them <laughs> at all. Um, and also you find an IOU that I owe somebody some gold. Oh. oh, speaking of which, I will take this opportunity to pass around the donation tin to the rest of the patrons in the bar. Uh, obviously, our stature is such that everyone would be obligated to put something in the plate. So, so wait a minute here. We're not taking this job for the church, are we? Oh, because oh, 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 no. some of us have bills. Oh, no, yes, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. The church is very peripherally related to everything we're going to be doing. So it's a front. I didn't say that, certainly. <laughs> I could be okay with the front. It might be a front. <laughs> <laughs> might be. Would, would you, to put you on the spot, would you like to maybe deliver a little oration to the tavern? Oh, uh, boy. Around? Okay, yes, I would. Um, and I stand up somewhat uncomfortably uh, because probably someone asked me, could you say a few words? And I fumble... Uh, I, I, I say, yes, my, my, my lord and patron, uh, Lavender, uh, La, <laughs> La, Lathander, Lathander, uh, is, uh, so this is, this is a wonderful moment for all of you. I'm, I'm glad to be here to, uh, proffer some spiritual guidance, um, and to do the good work of the, uh, the breakfast lord himself, uh, and to, uh, try to be better to each other, and really, to help each other, you should help me. Uh, raise funds for the church. And so this pie plate will be passing around to each of you, and I hope that you'll be generous uh, because you have to reach deeply into your hearts and your wallets if you really want to step forward in self-improvement. All right. The plate comes back with 13 gold pieces. Oh, nice. So very oh, so. Hey, can I be a priest? Can she be a priest? <laughs> I could be you a look priest. like a it's priestess. It's more of a ministry kind of thing, not a priest. His, his entire oration just bores me, and I'm just sitting there with a candle, lighting it with my finger, <laughs> and then putting it out. Lighting it with my finger. It's a miracle! Putting it out. <laughs> lighting it with my finger. What is this gnome's Sigh. name? <laughs> putting it out. He didn't, I, he's already stomped off into the cold. Oh, were oh, we to are follow we him? To go out? Uh, well, <laughs> you, you were signed <laughs> up. He said, told well, he, us to finish our meal. He told us to finish. Oh. We're not going yeah. to be rushed. Yeah, he's seeing dead relatives. I mean, a it's lot not like of he's people. Gonna... I didn't say they're dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was busy. <laughs> Rifling sacks. <laughs> you can be, uh, give me a wisdom insight check. As you're saying, oh, what was that gnome's name? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you're sure he must have said it, and you must have just missed it. It was a one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're positive. Now, there was a gnome? You, yeah. <laughs> you might actually be a little anxious now. You're pretty sure he said his name and everyone heard it. And now, you know, you get that thing like, oh, do I, like, I should maybe know his name. Did like, I have some of that powder on my paws? <laughs> <laughs> Please lick the powder out of your paws. <laughs> <laughs> Please lick the powder out of your paws. can't get no I choice. said good, not did. <laughs> I'll make an inside check to see if we remember his <laughs> At negative one. <laughs> That's 13. I assume the gnome's name is Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, with a 13, you note that the, the gnome seemed to almost be guiding the conversation away from ever giving his name. Oh, God, this Eric guy is a little, a little shifty. <laughs> yeah, he struck me as a little dodgy, too, and I yeah, know. Yeah, I he's, know. He's, 
Oh, no, Stuart, you know, I don't much. trust Eric, but he was a pile of meat. So. <laughs> <laughs> that speaks a lot to his favor. That's, that's a step in the right direction. He was probably idea. speaking out of several of his mouths. Mm, mm, good point. We can trust that guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we should go. We should finish. Then I eat the rest of my food. <laughs> yeah. And then I eat the rest of everyone else's food. <laughs> and then in, in the tradition of very fancy people... I sweep everything off the table, and if there are any orphans looking for a scrap, I will chase them with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you bravely ward off the orphans. As, Who I as assume a are they don't also look spiders. Like <laughs> <laughs> Another churchly man, I yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> and so, your meal done? Yeah. Venturing back out into the cold? to meet up with your gnome, with Eric, the gnome. With Eric, the gnome. And he is standing there with his long mustache, bundled up with furs. Ah, still cold out here, Camp. I'm terribly sorry. I thought it would be more warm up by now. Usually it's not this cold this long. I mean, it's ridiculous, but I can't, I can't make any guarantees. But anything, these, I mean, I wouldn't really, you know, I, I say things and I hope they're true, but sometimes maybe they're, I mean, they're always, I'm very liable, I can assure you. I don't say it unless I hope it's true. It usually is true. And it's true enough, but anyways, you've already accepted the job, so let's not even worry about <laughs> trustworthiness. I mean, we've got a good bond going well, here. I'd say it's worked pretty like well. I'd like to roll some insight oh, sure. on him right yeah, now. Really I'm going to do the same. Being a cat in the cold, I just get very close nope. to Amber at this point. And <laughs> yeah, I have, um, if we're standing in the snow, I will just, you know, take my hands and melt all of the, the snow right around my... My feet. I mean, I'm assuming my flame can do that. Oh yes. And so, just so I'm not standing in it, and if you don't want to be wet, mm -hmm. I will also do me, clear do me. the area. Oh, of course. <laughs> I, I got a thirteen. Um, but can we go? I got a thirteen on the on insight. He seemed. I mean, obviously, he's very frantic. Uh, <laughs> he seems very eager to get away from the crowds. So, instead of so looking over. Eric, oh, we could go talk over in my uh, my workshop. I, I appreciate that, Eric. Um, but we, uh, Eric. We, yes, Eric. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and. As he's talking, you see a human, very well-dressed man, come over and put his hand on the gnome's shoulder. It's a curl up! Oh, looking forward to it. How goes construction of the Snow Colossus? Everything is ready? You've got the, the toque and everything ready to go? He's like, ah, oh, yes, yeah, of course! <laughs> what? It, it couldn't have gone missing, could it? I mean, that's insane. It's so big! <laughs> and he looks at, uh, of course... It couldn't, uh, it, what, miss it? Anyways, let's go. Come on, friends. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Curlap, I thought your name was Eric. Uh, yeah, uh, Eric, Eric Curlap. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it, Eric I Curlap. just have so many friends in town. It's so hard to remember what names I've given to them <laughs> and maybe who they are like and why they're asking more. me about toques and what I would do with that. I have no idea. I but am it, now remembering this as Ereculap. Yeah, or that, that works. Eric that works. That's wonderful. Call me, come, mm. call me Ereculap. <laughs> that works, that works, and, but it, God, it is missing, as you finally move away from it, it's missing, I lost it, I don't know how, it's like 10, 15 feet wide, it's the only thing that's left from the original, that giant snow monster, that, that the wizard, the dread and evil wizard, uh, I can't, whatever his name was, that it's, it's missing, I don't know how it went away, I mean, somehow, how do you steal a hat that, that big, hmm. there haven't been any giants seen about, I need you to find the hat. Please, my reputation in town, it could not survive. A hat made of snow? Oh, no, no, it's, it's made of the finest cloth. It's, wonderful. it's actually quite jaunty. And it, the thing was wearing it, and when they took the hat off, that's jaunty. when it stopped, so it's really important. But the magic was gone, it was dispelled, so it couldn't have just disappeared. But it's gone, and we need it. If I don't have that hat on the head of that giant snow colossus. So, so Eric, if I understand correctly, though, um, you're not in a position to pay us for this, right? Wait, who's there? Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm Eric. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You know, payment... We can work something out, though. I have a proposal. But what was, oh, okay, well, let's hear it. Yeah. So, uh, we do well based on our reputations. Oh, of course, yes. So, if we uh, find this missing hat that you lost... I didn't... Well, now, wait. Now, that's is, not here, point Here's the crux. You have to take the fall for losing it, and we have to be the heroes who return it. The, the entire point. And then we get more stuff in town. Hiring you was so that no one would know I lost it. And anyways, if it's gone forever, I'm just gonna blame the I, mayor. I, I just don't I mean, think no one likes the mayor these days. I just don't think you're in a really good position to negotiate on this one, Eric. So you want me to? 
And you're a lawyer, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more of an option contract we had, too, buddy. So <laughs> you want me to say I lost it, and then you found it? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. The what doesn't point. make any sense is you asking us to do this job without any payment. No, but the payment is the, the, the adoring looks of the children. So How would yes. it be adoring if they don't the even know away. what's missing? Yeah. Well, the ones with the wealth well, marks? Wait a second. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Wait hang, a hang. second. With a stick. Jaunty hat, you say? It's, it's quite interesting. Yeah, but it's what really... What size? How big is it's this much, hat? It's like 15 feet wide, so maybe. So we it's, could it's just, huge. you so know, size eight. find oh, a spell. Oh, if you haven't Make noticed... It bigger. Well, maybe we could, we could try, but it looks very specific, but that might work. Look, to give you a sense, look, any points, and there is... In town, in Brennanford, it's famous for its clock tower. There's an enormous clock tower, 30 feet tall, in the middle of town. And he points to it. He says, by this time tomorrow, that, st that snow closet they're building is going to be taller than that tower they're working right now. Those dwarves, they work so fast. Couldn't they just be slow this year and be late? They have to be on time. Gingy, we have a powder for that. <laughs> Do you? Maybe. Excellent. I don't remember what color it is, but I know it was in my pouch. That you oh. rifled through. Thank you very much. So, do you, I, I got a 26. You don't know I rifled through your pouch. Necessarily. I'm psychic. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. So, but how about this deal? Counter proposal. Okay, I'm willing. Okay. Listen. Okay. <laughs> right I will pay you 50 gold pieces. And you can take out the credit for finding it, and you'll tell everyone that I valiant, valiantly fought off. And when you find it, whoever took it, I fought like a wildcat to keep it. Oh, but yeah. But only through the grossest treachery. You um, see my, my fur kind of stand up when you say wildcat. <laughs> yes, yes. That's the spirit that I fought hard. I was overwhelmed. I am just a simple uh, uh, tailor. How could I? But I did. I smote the enemies left and right. But was overwhelmed by their superior numbers. Well, as long as you allow us to control the narrative. <laughs> yes, that is. And as long as in That's the really all I'm asking. I am cast heroic, but not too heroic. I mean, no one would believe that I'm actually that much of a hero. But not so much a villain. The villain, it doesn't... So you say you're the town tailor? I'm a tailor in town. I'm one of tailors. I mean, not the only tailor. I'm the only good one. So we also get custom, custom made fine suits <laughs> after this as well. That would be worth more. Oh. Inside, inciting roll here. Okay, inciting roll. Just, um, uh, Is that a nine. Okay. Yeah, he <laughs> seems pretty like. Does he look like a tailor? Oh no, he does. Oh. Okay. Like even with you can tell like he's got like now as you kind of you standing and, and talking to him and the way he's animated and he starts talking about the all the finest suits and he seems to know his stuff like okay. you, you don't really know he the. He made the hat things. that he lost. No, he didn't. He, this is the original hat that was on. That he was responsible for getting it ready for oh. the display. Oh, 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 hold on. It's the original hat. Yes, it's an artifact. Um, can can I fail at a history check about um, this hat to see if it's necessary in a new magical purpose for this new snowman? Like, Wait, would it be devastating if this hat wasn't found and this thing's like gonna come to life and kill us all? That type of history. Like, is it necessary for this festival? Do I know this? Or should I roll for this? Oh, yeah. Like, you, you, is this festival an annual thing that yes. they, like, reenact? Oh, no, they reenact it. But the, the magic from the hat is, is long, is long. He's, oh, oh, so I know this. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's part okay. of why you came. And he's like, oh, it's safe. There is, it's impossible. What could possibly go wrong if at the climax of this venture you put the hat on the snow giant beast and something mm. dreadful was to happen? Impossible. Oh. Is that I, what the festival is about? <laughs> it's a perfect conference. We do it every year. I thought no we, one's I ever thought been we hurt. were celebrating the sack of the town. Oh, and that's... then I thought we could just solve that by resacking the town. <laughs> well, and then saving the town. And then saving the town and then from ourselves. Tithing, <laughs> tithing the town. Tithing the town. Yes. And like I'm still tripping balls. <laughs> so, He's sort of to my to my eyes, this is a ball of meat with multiple mouths shrieking at a small ring of cacti around it. <laughs> but this all sounds really good. The, sacking the town is perfectly fine, just as long as no one blames me, of course. So the deal on the table is we control the narrative. We'll give you some sort of 
ridiculous credit that nobody will believe, and we all get fine suits. As long as they know it magic wasn't suits. my fault. <laughs> magic suits. Yes. Magic suits. Oh, yes, my work is arcane. We need that before we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it would t to fit. I, mean, I, I will get straight to work. But it would take so long, the festival would be over. My craftsmanship. You don't have like comes you the know, price of a magic scarf of cunning or a magic scarf fake of cunning, eyelashes you say. of seeing further. Ah, or yes, I have a scarf of cunning. Feathers floating. Behold, and he pulls out a scarf from his Ooh. pocket. It's long, it's white and green striped. Ah, yes, my finest work. Wear this scarf, and your wit shall be like lightning. Unless. You were a duller to begin with, and it has no effect on the wearer. But of course, <laughs> one with wit of you, and he loops the scarf. I'm sure you feel the effects already, don't you? This is such a passive-aggressive gnome. <laughs> 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 I love this guy. We should not see you for this. Yeah. Do you kiss him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did I? I can't keep track of everyone I kiss. <laughs> I have a wisdom of eight. <laughs> you did kiss him on the lips in yeah. terms of Hell yeah, I, yeah I did. Which, <laughs> which was the far move. So I'm sure you feel your thoughts moving like lightning, like the wind whipping through the mountain passes. Oh, my thoughts are moving with light, like lightning without this thing. I think this guy's full of it. <laughs> Look, the important uh, thing is... I would like to roll to see what I feel like. Oh. Um, what would that be? Uh, arcana. Intelligence arcana. Say to see if we can figure out if there's any actual magical effect. 16. Oh, this thing is like, um, please. That makes no sense. Why would you need a scarf? That is, it, the magical curse one doesn't make any sense. You'd wrap it around your neck and make you smarter. Like, no, it's hats that make you smarter. Of course, guy hats is make you off. smarter. Exactly. But yeah. does it look stylish? It does. Actually, it looks pretty good. This guy is, he is, for all his, his like, issues, and there are many, he looks like he can actually craft a fairly nice uh, bit of clothing. All okay, right, this. so I try to out-con him at okay. this point, and I tell him, oh, Oh, I am feeling something. My you my are. fingers are tingling, and oh my gosh, yes, I can. In my mind, I can see the entire layout of the town, and 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 who did you steal from recently? Um, you know, this guy, that might be the. Let me check that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the scarf. Is it? My mistake, my mistake, my mistake. This was a scarf of delusion. I'm sorry, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that the, to make it worth your while, and he reaches into his belt pod, looks around, and he kind of he slips you something, and it's a, it's a small gem. Like, oh, yes, I'm sure that'll... Oh, I like those. That'll, that'll, that'll that deal us over for a bit. Don't say anything. How did she see that? How did she know? Oh, yes, uh... And I'm sure that I can give you more where that's coming from rather than any reward they would give you. I mean, not that the Scarf of Delusion would show you any real insight in any crimes I may or may not have committed. It's brotherly love amongst gnomes. Exactly. It's a thing. Exactly. Awesome. Now, about the missing toque, if we could maybe go to my shop. That's where it was. All right. And there might be information there. Maybe you could find something there. Or this, this guy seems pretty fancy. <laughs> so if we don't help him... People will look down on us. They will assume we are not also fancy. My social standing will take a hit. <laughs> we can't have that. I'll be kicked out of uh, the fancy guild. The fancy guild. <laughs> yeah. I'll be kicked out of the fancy lads. <laughs> so I put my hand gently upon this ball of meat. <laughs> the and fancy. I lean down and I whisper, fancy oh, ball of meat. guide us. <laughs> when you lean down, he actually goes, <laughs> Please lick the ball of meat. <laughs> so I lean very close to his to his ear, and I whisper in that sort of way that she used to whisper uh -huh. before she left. Before she became a ball of meat. <laughs> Take us there. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Yeah. Uh, Oh, excuse me. Oh, yes, of course. Let's go. It's right this way. Let's I'm looking it. around to see if anybody else is watching us, if there is any kind of... Like, I hope not, they not, are. Not, 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 the, not the kind of like, oh my God, watching us, but, yeah. you know, a more a sustained kind of watch. Give me a wisdom perception check. Um, 12. Now, you think for a moment, no, it must be... 
you could have sworn you saw looking at around just around the corner in sort of a dark shadowy alley three eyes one atop the other they blink for an instant and then when you they're gone it must have just been i'm checking my paws for be, the it's powder it's so cold or something the powder yeah, i've been <laughs> seeing that shit all night <laughs> <laughs> like, what creature would have three eyes right on top of each other like that that's and move like that that's no it like almost like float around the corner that uh, nonsense it must be it must be it's getting late traveled a lot today i'd ignore that floating eyes there's nothing terrible about that exactly right no. Floating eye it's monsters. The, it's the style. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> They're fancy. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> guide us, ball of meat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is actually his normal pickup line. <laughs> 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 hey, whatever works. <laughs> All right. So he leads you through town. Uh, the crowds have abated a bit. It's getting later. Right. Late. Most folk have turned in for the night or are getting their, their dinner. Uh, and he brings you around to a shop. Um, it looks like a tailor's. It's his. He fumbles with the key, opens the uh, opens the door, and guides you in. It's a fairly large shop. The um, his workshop in the back. There are plenty of tables, and it what looks like there are a number of tables lined up, and there've been planks laid down upon them, almost like a small stage. And it's about 16 feet wide on each side. You know, 16 feet wide, 16 feet across. And he points. How could someone steal a hat that covered this hmm. table? Ridiculous. I was just cleaning it, getting it ready, mending it, and poof, gone. I don't, how do I know how many, how many people Literally would have to Literally poof, or did you turn your back and it was gone? No, I came, I came in this morning, mm -hmm. ready to work. You know, came, it was, well, okay, it was after lunch, <laughs> and I had a couple drinks, and I went over and, so it was more like late afternoon, you know. <laughs> but you know how gnomes are, right? So we work when we work when they're prepping the Christian strikes. When was the last time you saw this hat? Last night, it was here when I left, and I carefully locked. And he did have like multiple locks, like to the door. I don't. You can't trust anyone in this town. Everyone's a criminal in this town. You can't trust anybody. I wouldn't turn anybody, back. even you. Oh, I am a paragon of above-board dealing, as you've already witnessed. I mean, look, I insisted only that I be held blameless in our scheme to trick everyone in town. Like I didn't ask to be the hero. Let, I didn't ask to actually make money off it. Let's not call it a scheme. Let's. We're, no, let's call it a scheme. <laughs> <laughs> I want to check the locks to see if there's any evidence of tampering with these. Sure. Since I'm a rogue. Give me a wisdom mm -hmm. perception check. Um, oh, oh, and you, since you're a rogue, you have advantage. Uh, you know your way around locks. Uh, 13. So you're looking at it, and it's really odd. Looking at the, the locks, they don't look like they've been tampered with at all. Mm. And with it being so cold out, like, you know, the, with the, um, the grease and everything that, that keeps the tumblers moving, um, yeah, you don't see any damage. It almost, it looks like it's just his key has been used. It actually looks like it hasn't been used that often. You know, like, typically a shop like this, he might just unlock the door in the morning, leave it unlocked all day, then lock it up when he leaves for the night. And based on how he kind of described his day, this lock hasn't been opened since probably, like, well, when he just opened it before that, probably in the early afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, based on how cold it is and how everything sort of congealed in there. The, uh, and there's no signs of damage. Um, yeah, it looks like if... if no like, signs of forced entry no. or anything? Yeah, looking around, you don't see any evidence of, like, the windows all look intact. And when you, with your trained eye, uh, take a look around, you're like, well, that window, and you kind of look at the window's kind of loose, like, okay, well, someone Jimmy, this window, they'd probably be able to get in, but... No, it looks like it's still stuck. There's still ice in the snow around mm -hmm. the edges. No sign mm -hmm. it's been moved. It doesn't look like anyone physically entered this place, except for the gnome through that door. And there's no back door? Uh, there is a back door. Uh, it's barred shut. Okay. Um, and it's actually like a double door, like maybe takes deliveries, of, like mm -hmm. bolts of cloth and such. Mm -hmm. But um, he, maybe being not the most enterprising or energetic <laughs> fellow, there's actually snow piled up, a drift, mm -hmm. uh, at least two days uh, since he cle cleared it away to take a delivery. Since he said he saw the hat. Mm. I like your distrust. That's cool. um, I am very distrustful of everything. Um, can I take a look around the shop and see what else is here? Sure. Um, do you want to do like a? Do you want to like sort of search? Do something detailed? Are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for both any uh, large areas where such a thing could be hidden on purpose. Got it. And also anything of value to see if this guy is lying to us about payment. Sure. Give me an intelligence investigation check. That's slightly better, not really, 11? So with 11, looking around, the first thing you notice, he, unless there's like a, a hollow, you know, like a trap door on the floor, um, the ceiling is just like, there's no attic, there's no floor, it's just the ceiling, it's almost like a little warehouse. 
the um, you don't see anything large enough. If the hat's the size you described, uh, you don't see anything that could possibly fit it. The um, looking out for valuables, um, it looks like um, he must do a pretty brisk business. He's probably pretty wealthy. Like looking over, like he took a delivery two days ago. There's still like a bit of a bolt of silk left over, which you know very expensive, and it's a lot of very high end goods he has here for his raw materials, mm -hmm. um, and he does not have much stock lying around. Like, so based on what you can see, like the amount of materials coming in and the work he's done, this guy's freaking loaded. So we could get some very fine suits. Oh, yes. Okay. Very fine Noted. <clears throat> I look at you and I say, you know, you know a lot about fronts. <coughs> Maybe. Yeah. Possibly. Fair-ish. Ish. Yeah. I don't think the hat was ever here. It's possible. It's possible. Yeah, I think uh, that's that's very possible. But so, is there something in your holy wisdom that oh. will scare the crap out of this gnome? Well, I have been furiously scribing a contract, and I'm on page seven. <laughs> 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 so, just give me another few minutes, and I'll have something for him to sign and initial each page. <laughs> we'll have everything we want. So have you ever kissed anyone to death? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did someone say kissing? Uh, no. No, it's, you know, it's, or it's, maybe it's just mostly just to settle disputes <laughs> in Orkish culture. So, so we kind of have a dispute I'm feeling here. Yeah, but I'm still pretty high. So <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do is assume that my great axe is an axe of seeking. Ah. Uh, uh, it's not, but I'm going to assume it. <laughs> <laughs> and I will hurl it in a random direction, and that is clearly where the hat lies. Okay. Awesome. This seems like a great idea. I will idea. roll a d20. <laughs> I rolled an eight. Okay. So you turn. How do you randomize? Just close your eyes, spin around, and throw? Uh, you know, I listen to the axe. Oh, the axe. <laughs> yeah. All right. The axe. This is uh, what uh, drugs are for. Yes, <laughs> yes they I, I, I am using my um, cat ability to climb up a wall right now. Okay. <laughs> whoop, up the wall you go. Mm -hmm. As you hurl, you sort of turn with an eight. It's five. You turn and hurl your axe, and it wants to go through the window. You Whoa. feel it. Through the window. Through the window. And as you hurl the axe, it smashes through the window, sending glass flying. Wow. Oh, well, that's it, guys. Cold. The thief got in through this window. <laughs> <laughs> it was a roll. It's broken. <laughs> as the air rushes in, whoosh, washes over you, freezing cold air, but it doesn't feel cold. <gasps> that's odd. It just washes right over you. It doesn't feel cold at all. And you see as the snow comes in, it melts. And you see there, there's a fire in the corner, which is giving, should be giving off, that's strange, like it should be giving off some warmth, but that's odd that it would be that warm. Huh, there's something that, is that seems a little strange. Are As we inside the hat? The, the <laughs> gnome runs over. How are we going to plot our, I mean, I mean, plan for the festival? And he just starts pulling the, the, uh, the shades shut, desperately trying to hold them shut as the wind whistles against it. All right, I'm going to investigate this window. Okay. <laughs> With my plus zero <laughs> investigation. Rolled a nine. A nine. This must be it. Look, it's, it's open. The Look window is it, open. It was probably just an illusion. The killer clearly came through here. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided this is a murder mystery now. <laughs> you know that look cats give you, which is not actually an eye roll, but just a general kind of feeling of superiority right now. Just <laughs> <laughs> So, Ember, as a fire genasi, you, wait, there's something strange here. This, there's, it, this room is warmer than it should be. Now that there's cold air coming in, it's really, it's not displacing the, the warmth in here. There's some sort of magical effect tied to heat that maybe is lingering here or is that, in a, that, or that is currently in effect? Yeah, this is what I was just um, scouring uh, my abilities for to figure out. Can I do um, like an arcana check of some yep. sort? You can make an arcana check and as a fire genasi, you'll have advantage on that. Because oh, you are awesome. With fire. Yay. Yay. Don't roll one. Ooh, 
21. 21. <gasps> you remember hearing something about this exact phenomenon. If someone deals with the powers of hell, sometimes oh in the area with the planar magic, the planes come into conjunction. Perhaps someone calls upon hell for a favor, uh, maybe sells their soul, or maybe offers something else that the footprint, it's almost like the thumbprint left by the planar conjunction, can sometimes keep the fires of Phlegathos linger for a time. It's not noticeable, but the power of cold is warded off. And so there must have been some sort of planar magic, perhaps to teleport something away, perhaps to open a portal, perhaps to conjure something that came through and used its magic. But if something came in here without breaching the physical doors, that would, if there was a portal opened, this is the sort of magical effect you'd expect to find. Friends, my worst fears and memories of my youth are coming to my brain right now of how I even came to be in this place. She takes herself very seriously. Um, but I am sensing here that there's evil afoot. <gasps> evil of the hellish variety. <gasps> and I think... Yeah. Uh oh. There is a source here of the worst type of fire. This is stunning. That I have no ancestry in. This is shocking. I am definitely not going to be blamed for this. This is wonderful news. I am so happy that the legions of hell are knocking at our door. Or I have never been more Except relieved. <sighs> that this seems the source of some sort of contract with those who might dwell oh. <laughs> in such a place. No one would sign a contract with me. I mean, especially anyone who's done any business. <laughs> I mean, I'm, of course, an upstanding man, would never sign a contract with, with the forces of hell. Plus, I don't know if I still have a soul after that last uh, day. But I, I can assure you, I would have nothing to do with such fell powers. I'm just a simple tailor. That's it, really. Can I feel where this source is actually coming from? Yeah. Um, since uh, I've done all of this, and uh, see if there's any other markings, any burns in the floor, or anything that would indicate some sort of um, sure. existing portal or something. So with something with over 20, you take your time and focus and peer into the weave. And now that you've had time and tapping into your arcane magic, you can see the weave around you uh, as you attune to it. You can see there are flames flickering along its substance. Mm -hmm. Another trademark sign of the passage of a powerful force from hell. Um, though luckily in this case, it doesn't seem to be a major power. The one not to be trifled with. And you can see there are wisps of it uh, slipping through the, the ferment of the weave, and it seems to head off in the direction of the broken window and wisps through and wends its way through town toward what looks like, um, actually it's a spellcaster, you'd be familiar with this uh, area of town uh, in uh, Brindenford. There's a, a number of scholars who live in town. There's a few bookshops. It seems like the path wends its way <laughs> through the weave there. If someone used some sort of portal or teleportation, it looks like they moved from here to somewhere in the scholarly district of town. So you're saying his drug-fueled mania of divining with a non-existent axe worked? Sort of. I mean, you consider it's a one in four chance he picked the right wall. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Brilliant. axe has proven, the axe has proven itself <laughs> that um, knowledge awesome. is evil. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I am suggesting is that we go and destroy the scholars. And to be sure that they can't threaten us with their intellect. That sounds like a great plan. Thank you, Wisconsin State Legislature. <laughs> <laughs> Can he please get advantage on his next <laughs> right, I really have to give you uh, uh, inspiration for the comment. Um, as unlikely as this would sound coming from me, I agree with the orc. <laughs> I have come down off the wall because my ears perked up when she said source of because I thought she said saucer. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm now all in on... I mean, I've been also keeping just an eye outside because of those three eyes. I cannot get over those three eyes. So I've been looking, peeking out the windows just in case anybody else has been, any other... Give me another um, wisdom perception check with advantage Before you do, before you do uh, th my lord Lavender is with you. <laughs> <laughs> and you get an additional D6. <laughs> <laughs> You're Lord Lavender. That's exactly what I heard you call it before. <laughs> um, 13, 
uh, you said insight or in uh, perception. investigation? Perception. Uh, 15. All right, as you keep a sharp eye out looking for the eyes, that's weird. There shouldn't be a mouth on the side of that building, but then it disappears. Like you blink your eyes again, like, <laughs> no, that's a, it just must be the, the travel, the half orcs. Fanciness is just overwhelming, maybe. <laughs> oh, the fire well, genasi is like just, a, just the R of mystery and magic emanating. It's just, it, it's, and, and then, and this gnome, I mean, I, do I need to say more? It, it must be the, the powders or I'm something. I'm regretting That's, taking why those would powders. There be a right mouth now? on the side. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it must, I mean, just, it must be the strain. The but I don't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you just like knock something off a table, you'd have you better. let us know that you've seen these eyes. Not yet. Okay. It's it's. Um, we'll see if it happens again. All right. So I'm right now. I'm actually a little bit worried that I might have gotten some of that powder on my paws and uh, just just being a little cautious. The axe has led us out the window. Let's just keep following it. Again, I agree, but not because of the axe, just because <laughs> I have a strong sense of seeing through yeah. all of this that it, something evil came here and it went that way. Just, oh, before that we was follow, his axe. That was my axe. <laughs> like, the axe did everything you did, just shorter, and it destroyed things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, buddy. So, no so problem. Talking, <laughs> so I propose we I, make the axe. And I hear the them member. talking about destroying the scholarly district. I decide to scooch on ahead and pickpocket as many of them as I can okay. before they start burning them all to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you dart off as everyone's talking, arguing about the the, uh, the physics the of the act becoming and the, the angle. party leader. The, um, I want to make a perception roll to see if I see her darting off. Oh, sure, off yeah. Since you're, you're darting um, ahead to No, books? I don't nope. see her darting off. Gold. Gold. Oh. Maybe books, if they're worth money. I'm Gems, whatever. Like, you can burn it. I just want to... Pillage it first. Uh, <laughs> All right. I never said I was going to burn anything. It was implied. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Is it wrong for me to assume that you would use fire? <laughs> Those were accidents. Okay. Well, we have somebody that writes contracts. Yes. What are the odds of a fire mage using fire? Hope little yeah. Miss Woke here in the corner. Right? <laughs> yeah, well, I want to get to the scholar. To Scholarly district before it's destroyed too, because I have some proposals <laughs> that I'd All like right. to float. No, uh, I, I will just say they are—they don't buy. They are unfashionable and they're ridiculous. And so we do have to burn them all and kill half the city. As long as I look good in part as part of this narrative we're going to construct, uh, I'm willing to make that sacrifice on behalf of Brendan for for my own personal gain. Okay, so this is the gnome <laughs> talking yes. or Mike Merle's talking? <laughs> oh no, it's, it's both. Yeah. <laughs> It is indeed the no. <laughs> <laughs> so right. th I'm, I'm okay with that. I just want you to know, Brendan Ferd will will survive. Let's. The, uh, Ricky Laugh, are you coming with us? Yes, and that is definitely <laughs> my name if the town guard asks. <laughs> <laughs> let's ju let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. I, do, do, Whatever do, the act says, whoever the act says to kill, will kill. That sounds it's like fine. It knows plan. what we're doing. Capital plan. <laughs> there we go. I will maintain a discreet distance and keep watch to ensure that I am not caught in case you break any laws. Good idea. <laughs> yep, and just sign this last page, initial of previous seven, and we'll be good. Of course, he drits to Eric and block. Yep. That's wonderful. Yep. <laughs> yep. Good, good, yep. Oh, so shall we? All right, okay, so on we follow the, the axe. Now, are you still trying to dart ahead? I'm so shelled. All right, so go ahead and uh, make a uh, stealth check for me. You'll probably get a chance to like, try. You, as you come out the corner, you see some of the scholars. There are a number of like small bookshops here. Um, and there's a little bonfire in, in the square that the bookshops form. I'm sorry, the bookshops are arranged around. And there's a few um, that look like maybe students, um, you know, a few people in robes, um, having mulled wine and talking and having a little so social gathering. Okay, I go for the easier targets. I got a 24. All right, 24. You find uh, it's an older human. Uh, leaning on his staff, he's had a few drinks, too many, so it's more just timing it just right, the quick time event of, oh, got it, without alerting him. Uh, you find uh, eight gold pieces and a vial with a bubbling blue liquid in it. Ooh, I like strange things. Drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also her pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> Shinji, don't talk about our past love that way. <laughs> Unfortunately, it did take a few moments to finally line up to the perfect moment to grab, uh, to ransack his purse, uh, his 
uh, pouch. So that's the party comes walking in. You can see that the uh, the effect in the weave of that weird fire magic wends around and goes straight through the front door of a bookshop uh, with a sign above it that says uh, that proclaims the place to be the real the reality wrinkle. The reality wrinkle. Well, I think we need to go book shopping, folks. Um, do we want do we want to try to charm our way in, or do we want to try to threaten our way in? I think it's a bookshop, and I think we can just go shopping. <laughs> All right, we'll threaten our way in. <laughs> <laughs> so I will kick the door. <laughs> and I will grab a book. Oh my God. And I will hold my knife to the book. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I will, will shout at the bookkeeper, or whoever's running it, the power is totally in your hands. <laughs> Whatever happens is what you must live with. <laughs> <laughs> and then I point my knife at him and said, now where's the devil? <laughs> So as you right. finish, when everyone else is, our, our fancy half or kicks in the door, gra takes a book hostage and yells at the poor group of scholars gathered at a table holding their <laughs> mugs. There's uh, a, an older woman with like long gray hair, seems to be the proprietor. You, you notice, when you got there, you notice all the shops are still open. It must mm -hmm. be some, maybe some part of the festival. So he kicked in the door, it just goes flying open, like bounces back, so you have to kick it again. To actually, it wasn't actually locked or barred. <laughs> Force your way in, brandishing a book that has like, you know, a you know, special festival sale, 75% off, you know. Our, our, our savings will keep you warm, even the nights are cold, right? They, and they all just gape at you as you effectively are, are haranguing the equivalent of the sales staff for your local Barnes & Noble with their latest you know, staff picks being held hostage. So they stand and gape and look at you, and one of them says, I, welcome to the Reality Wrinkle. How can I help you? I, I, um, so, I hello? Mean, and they notice everyone else. While Hi. he's causing this distraction, can I, I want to follow the trail. Oh, I'm yes, going to okay. let him be a buffoon. Got it. S sorry. Uh, <laughs> not, not sorry, actually. Um, and I will uh, sorry, let him be, yeah, be a distraction while I figure out what's going on so nobody takes notice of me. Give me your choice of either, say, dexterity stealth or charisma deception. Either one you want to use. You can um, do just try to physically I hide or just pass yourself off. I think that I will be better at stealth, and by better, I mean still terrible, but let's try. And uh, give yourself advantage from the distraction. Okay. 20. Um, oh, wow, there is a 20 in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it would be 22. Okay, so. It's amazing for me, everybody. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Advantage. <laughs> As you, like, go into your threats holding the book, um, it, it kind of takes a moment. Everyone, well, some of you realize that um, Ember's gone. Like you've just like used the distractions. Whoops! Went, and you could see that this energy uh, goes straight to the back. There's a curtained doorway to the back of the shop um, that it looks like the energy is leading through. Do you wish to, to, to push through the curtain? Oh yes, definitely. Um, Ginger is going to look for Ember. By the way, is this is okay. Yeah. It'll, it'll take you a second to notice she's gone. In the, I the I will look for them. You're still. Stealing from people? No, I'm I'm inside now. Yeah, you'd have time. Um, you, she ran out. Okay. So. I mean, I'll give them all a look and like a look to the, him. Like I'm using this distraction, like a knowing, like we know, we've worked with him before, <laughs> right? And I'll be like, you know, little hand signals, like, and I'm going there, right? Well, so, this so, is right. so I'm not this trying to be. I'm not trying to deceive you all. No, no. Okay, got but so you're all these you years, see. over all this time of, of adventuring together, we know that this means. Uh, We'll yeah, like, him. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yes, I will duck in behind the curtain. Okay. And I will use my stealth and sneak in after her so she does not go alone. Got it. All right. So, the two of you sl uh, slipping in. You see now the Havoc brandishing. It's actually yeah. a copy of How to, Wins and in How to Win Friends and Influence People. Oh, good. You have your knife <laughs> up, too. And the staff. But, but, uh, uh, All right. So... Be a good cop. Yep, we, yep. We choose <laughs> not getting stabbed, we think. Uh, you the book is yours. It's uh, 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 yes. I influence people. Yes. This thing is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, uh, we can we can you help us? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, my my 
my colleague, is making a rather heavy-handed uh, effort to uh, really underscore why we're here, and that is we've got a great deal for you. We have, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we have a tremendous uh, stock of used but nice books. Okay, we'll take them. We'll yeah. take them if that is what you're here to do, and then yeah. you will leave. But you we really got to focus on yes. me as we're talking we'll about this. We'll definitely so take really all of that. To. Okay. We'll take all the books. You don't even have to give them to us. Okay. You don't even have to do anything. But we're going to need payment, though. Of That's course. Like, yep. Yes, if that is what it takes to get you to leave. But yeah. don't call it a shakedown. It's not. This it's is a It's not deal. a shakedown. It's not a shakedown. There's nothing illegal about I look, this. What is it? I look the oh, proprietress okay. dead it. in the yes. eyes and say, this is not a shakedown. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a shake. We agree. Good. We agree. This is We're not a We're all shakedown. so reasonable here. This is all <laughs> very reasonably terrifying. Okay. So, yes. Meanwhile, as you part through the curtain, you can see in the back... There's a storage room here, um, shelves with a few books, kind of dusty. And you see the energy uh, head straight down. Uh, there's a small carpet here, and it's heading down into the floor. Oh, directly that's through the middle of this little oh. throw rug that's been oh, tossed no. back here. This is it. Okay. We what do you want to do? the others, but maybe not that one. <laughs> oh, I got these, this pile of bubbly nerds. liquid so we could give <laughs> yeah. it to him. I have a question for you. Oh, we're just alone, right? Yeah. Though, so actually, could both of you give me, uh, what's your passive perceptions? Um, my passive perception is 11. 11? Not great. I'm, I'm looking. Bottom left corner. I'm on my tiny phone. Sorry, everyone. Of the first page. Of the first page, bottom left I'm, I'm there it is. looking oh, outside the door, yes. just Ten. You know, sure we're not being followed or things. This is, all of this is happening. We're so perceptive. You we're can so see some of the folks like, in, in I the, have this bottle of the the fancy liquid. Kind of it's in, kind of like, bubbling. Like, like I don't know what it there. does, but, but... You don't have okay. a cure for the mushrooms, so we can get him to not be doing all this? Well, he didn't kiss anybody as he walked in. He must maybe be feeling maybe better. Maybe off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, you don't notice anything out of the ordinary, but you can see that that trail is going straight through the floor, right through the middle of the circular woven carpet. Um, under the carpet, like, if yep. I lift the carpet... There is a trap door. Oh, so I don't even have to burn through this floor. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, so I would like to look up on this Because I don't have to. Since we're here, so we might as well. You're arguing with a book right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not arguing with a book. I am threatening the He's book. threatening <laughs> a book. <laughs> Cursed words. You're books are not, scary, knowledge he's bad. He's not kissing the book, so we're okay. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> no. Um, okay, cool. Maybe we should alert the others. I don't know where do we go. I don't like splitting the party. Well, there's a lot of shelves with dusty things on them. Maybe we should scour this thing for backup. Ma you know, extra potions, yeah, maybe a look. few extra weapons. I'm all about it. All right, do you want to do, yeah, give me intelligence investigation checks or wisdom perception, either one, your choice. Yeah. Meanwhile, up front, the, uh, the terrified staff <laughs> have uh, not only uh, looted the till, oh, but are throwing the contents of their coin purses oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. onto one of the little display yes. tables. Yeah. So it's like the latest bestsellers, yeah. uh, Bolo's Guide to Healthy Six. Living. Mm. They just <laughs> throw it aside yep, yep. and are throwing, of course, of course, we'll take, we'll take delivery on your stock whenever is convenient for you, preferably never. Sure. Uh, that would be fine. It's all tax-free, by the way, too. I'll write, I'll write a slip out for you. This is a <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. We have searched the room. <laughs> what was it on your high roll? Six. Six. Okay. <laughs> I got a nine. Okay, nine. <laughs> At this point, I start meowing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's perk up. <laughs> There's uh, 11 gold pieces worth uh, between the, to uh, the uh, silver, copper, yep. and gold coins here. Sweet. Um, you, as you're searching about, uh, I assume you're kind of like rifling <clears throat> through things. Um, so you're looking through, and um, as you're moving around the room, looking through everything, you get this kind of weird sense, like, is there someone watching us? But it's like you kind of turn your head, you don't see anything, kind of turn to the side, don't see anything. Oh look over God. there, look around. No, there's no, there's no one here, there's no, no windows. There's just that giant gaping mouth that's emerged as you see the wall shifts and slides towards you as some bizarre creature that was clinging to the far corner of the room emerges from the shadow like a pile of liquid sludge flowing into the room, covered in eyes that all snap open at once, hundreds of them, tiny beady yellow eyes, and a dozen or more mouths emerge from the muck and lunge towards you threateningly. 
We will though take that opportunity for a quick break and a check in <laughs> on our donations. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. So, when we last left, our intrepid heroes had tracked down the source of the disappearance of a 15 foot wide or so hat to a strange little bookshop called the Reality Wrinkle. Strange because, not because necessarily it's, for the wares. It's not a dermatologist. It's not a dermatologist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that meant two on the nose. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> really sad to see that you guys aren't taking this seriously. <laughs> 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 the state of modern role play. Yeah. Uh, the, I'm just in it for the after party. This is, this is <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. This isn't some game. <laughs> <laughs> we don't take it seriously. Take this Ooh, seriously, yeah. John Kovalec. Speaking of serious, then, then let me set the tone as befits a dramatic game such as this. We have a half-orc screaming incoherent, perhaps even insane threats at the staff of a let's, bookstore. Let's, having let's, let's just let's, let's keep it at incoherent. Incoherent, <laughs> fair enough. We, don't we, have, we have an insane. image to maintain. The, uh, having, having taken a book hostage and demanding something. It worked! Like, to, it would work, <laughs> though the staff seem unclear. We have a cleric who <laughs> has demanded tribute to his god, Lavender. Lavender. Uh, not Lathander, Lavender, no. uh, which the staff is, it is, this is not a shakedown as we established. This was a, a communal, spontaneous Bargain agreement. Bargain for exchange. Exactly. Yeah. This is just capitalism. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, in the back. <laughs> capitalism bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ember, the sorcerer, and uh, a happier gnome have found, or have been found, might be more accurate, a strange burbling pile of fleshy sludge covered in hundreds of eyes and dozens of leering toothy mouths. Let's roll initiative. Yay. Everyone. Ooh, my dice are happy tonight. <laughs> oh, that's a bad sign. That is a bad sign. It's never good to win early, Mike. Never <laughs> good to win early. I got 20. A 20? That Four is almost enough to beat me. Damn. 14. That's fine. I'm 14. not in the room with the monster. Yeah. <laughs> 16. 16. Also 14. 14. A 12. A 12. Okay. So as the sludge flows toward you, uh, its toothy maw is open, and it begins <laughs> babbling, chanting, one would almost say gibbering, as it flow towards, flows towards you and attempts to bite. Let's say it's going to try to chomp down on our sorcerer. Of course <gasps> it is. <gasps> no. Ooh, does a 21 hit? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> All right. As it bites into you, uh, you yelp in pain and take eight piercing damage. Ooh. And uh, could you give me a strength saving throw, please? I can certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Seven. Seven. All right. As it bites into you <laughs> and it yanks... Uh, almost as if the, the mouth is the end of a long tentacle. Mm -hmm. It flips you down and you land prone on the ground. Boo! The thud. Uh, the bookshelves above you disturb slightly. A few books fall down on you, adding insult to injury. But even Anything worse. Good? <laughs> 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 More copies of uh, Volo's Guide to um, Hostage Taking oh, and I haven't read Negotiation. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps that work use it. The, as you lie down on the ground and you look over to your side and you see the sludge flowing toward you now from your perspective on the floor like a tidal wave of gibbering rotten flesh but first we go oh, back no. to our half orc so I you like hear how you're trying to avoid saying my full name <laughs> <laughs> i have not gotten enough sleep this week all right <laughs> okay so i have, how many scholars are in the room uh there are five uh scholars here i think There's we could take them the older woman <laughs> they look to the back uh in complete confusion uh and is, they just seem frozen in place is like, it is uh, it like genuine confusion or are they more like oh how did that get there no it, they um <laughs> they um, go ahead and give me an insight check <laughs> seven <laughs> <laughs> They must be in on it! That look of the one who yelped in terror, clearly, <laughs> cl 
clear. I mean, if they were, I mean, if they're actually scared, they already should be scared. You've taken their book. Hostage. Yeah. <laughs> How can someone that's scared just be more scared or differently scared? That makes no sense. My second question is: Would these character, would these scholars count as hostile? Uh, definitely not. They uh, are uh, seem to be more interested in trying uh, to just stay out of the way than fight you. But it could just be an act. But they, you know what? Right. Is it? I'll say yes. Uh, they but are let's hostile. count them as hostile. All right. Yeah. Because I think I want to enter my rage and attack them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait. Hmm. I guess I should try to save our sorcerer. So I am... Thanks. All these books, all these reasonably priced books... Very reasonably priced. ...are accessible by the lower classes. And they're going to use that knowledge to start figuring out that our economic system is a huge scam. Ridiculous. And I've been, we've been ripping them off for yeah, free labor. You can't have that. For centuries. <laughs> and that makes me angry. <laughs> I can't believe they would have the audacity <laughs> to challenge the social status quo. <laughs> so as a bonus action, I fly into a rage. <laughs> and I'm going to trust my acts of seeking <laughs> to lead me into the back to this thing that has so many eyes reading things for free <laughs> and so many mouths agitating for change. <laughs> uh. I hate it. Your axe, once more, guides you true. For just simply brandishing it as you foam at the mouth in rage, Gah! its magic causes the staff to scream in terror and faint or run through the, just come barreling out, like running past you in right. pure panic. Clearly, the power of the axe has cowed them, some of leaving them only the gibbering creature beyond. Some of them fainted. We can use them as weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm just saying let's keep that in mind. <laughs> So I'm going to charge. All right, you can burst through the curtain and Blah! see this horrid creature bearing down upon Ember, threatening to engulf her. I'm going to attack. Uh, not attacks. I don't get an advantage on attacks. So I roll a five hits. <laughs> no, wait, uh, five, six. I rolled 11. 11. So you leap down and realize it's just like a 10-foot-wide pile of garbage with eyes and mouths, you plant a deadly blow right in the middle of it as your axe sinks into it. It's like hitting a garbage pile. Oh. Uh, you cut open a, a as your axe bites into it, cutting into it. Putrid smell wafts over you. Go ahead and roll damage. Roll damage. For and the mouth... <laughs> Since I'm already high, I just assume this is another no. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. All Eleven right. plus four, that's fifteen damage. Fifteen damage as your axe slams into it. Uh, from your perspective, it's bearing down upon you. You see the half-orc bear down, his axe slamming into it. It recedes away like the tide, moving away from you in response to the grievous injury dealt to it. But it is still active. As that was on 20, we come around to our gnome. I open the trap door. All right. You fling the trap door open, <laughs> look down into the darkness, and see... It's all dark. As your eyes adjust to it, your dark vision, you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more eyes all look up at you and blink in unison as you see another pool of this putrid material looks up at you and more moss as it starts crawling towards you and with the babbling starts to wash over you. Give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, boy. You should have done the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> drugs are great. <laughs> Hey, remember who gave you those drugs? <laughs> <laughs> Do drugs before everything. <laughs> that is not the official policy of Dungeons that and Dragons. That is the official <laughs> motto of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Just say no. All right, so you feel like your head swims a bit as the, the chorus of voices of most of these things, but you are... For a moment, you feel yourself just awash and confused, but you're able to wrestle through it and focus. What do you wish to do? Opening the trap door, it's just part of your movement. So you can still you can move about 10 more feet um, okay. or, or take your action. Okay. Um, is the axe sticking in the thing? Oh, yeah, he slammed it right into the one that's up here. 
and it's stuck in the thing? Um, you, you went up and you, you attacked in hand to hand, right? Or did you I attacked it. Yeah, with my Yeah, axe. oh, yeah, so he's still holding it. Like, he hacked into oh, it. Oh, so he's still yeah. holding yeah. the axe? Yeah. Okay. So, um, hmm. I, uh, I close the trap door. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have that bag of powders. I have no idea what they are. And I throw them into the mouth of the thing. Okay. And the many hope mouths for the of best. the thing. And hope for the best. Roll a d20 for me. We're going to get whatever this thing is high. But it's already a gibbering. Yeah. 17. 17. What if this just sobers it up? Yeah, it's going to start no, speaking Latin now. it's going to make him yeah. look at it's us, and well, we're just we going to be things with us. It, right? Oh, and then we'll drive it insane. Yeah, so no, its we'll be eyes friends. spin and turn. It goes, bah, 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 and it turns. Suddenly, it's speaking common. Oh, God, I'm a horrible slime thing. Kill me. Please, just kill me. <laughs> look at what I am. It's terrible. This is awful. I don't want to exist. I was just having a perfectly fun time in the far realm when some jerk pulled me through with a spell and made me exist in your horrible place. Look at you only have one mouth. One mouth. What kind of ridiculous is that? And your eyes aren't moving. How can your eyes not move in your head? That's so disgusting. Oh my god. I don't want to even bite you. But I just want out of here. <laughs> you know, he's, he's making a lot of sense. <laughs> Who all right, so it, uh, you'll all have advantage to attack it as it's now experiencing yes. an existential crisis. It is now speaking common <laughs> and revealing its innermost terrors of being in this horrible place where everything is the same and not insane. This is horrible. Um, so next up on 14 uh, is both uh, Ember and Ginger. You can go whichever order you want. Or So you are, you, you're lying down on the floor, you know, uh, so you can use some room to stand up, but it looks like, uh, as our half-orc friend came in, he was able to drive the creature away. And remember, you'll have advantage on your attacks against it. Yeah. Um, use your fire. I'll, I'll just, I, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm here, fire. I'm in the other room, and I hear, meow, I'll show you fire. meow, 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 and I go, aha, the cat signal. <laughs> <laughs> and I rush into the other room, and I see this gibbering mass, and I pull out my short bow. I get my short bow ready, I get the arrow in, and I look at, the, I look at my friend, and I say, drugs. Just say gnome, and I fire. <laughs> right. That was a 1980s reference, children. Over the 80s. <laughs> it was. That was the Reagan years. And it's demonstrably <laughs> wrong because we can see <laughs> that drugs <laughs> are helping us. <laughs> Just say thanks. Right, so uh, you, you'll have advantage on the attack because the creature is uh, okay. having its existential crisis. Uh, so I've got 22. Oh, and that's something. 17. All right. So you'll you'll hit. Remember, and you also get your your sneak attack damage because yes. our half orc is right next to it. Um, so the basic attack is, um, eight, and the sneak <coughs> attack is 2d6, and so that's another 10. All right. Your arrow, as it's sort of like undulating, part of it is like forming like a pseudopod, maybe to slam into someone, and your arrow hits right at the base of it, and this gel-like ichor blasts out of it, and as if the, all the slime inside the tentacle flows down and washes across the floor, surging toward you but stopping just short oh, thank goodness. <laughs> as that limb flops to the ground. Over here. So is he, is he dead? It's still alive. It's taken a lot of punishment, though. It looks like it's gone through about half its hit points. Like okay. that, that blow was um, really... Well, you know, his, his pleas for death really spoke to me. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Connected with you on a very basic level. <laughs> I am going to um, stand up if I have to. I don't think I do, but uh, Chaos bolt him to the face. Does he have a face? He has many faces. To one of his faces, his I will his. Chaos bolt him to okay. the face. And Mary, uh, you have advantage on the attack roll. I've already got them both ready. If you say advantage, I'm taking it. <laughs> um, all right. Well, that will be um, Firebolt. Uh, sorry, uh, 19. Oh, that is definitely going to hit. And then... <laughs> Two damage. Okay. <laughs> um, fire damage. Thank Two fire you. Damage? Okay, got it. So as your firebolt slams into it. Look how great I am. <laughs> <laughs> fire Tiny washes fire. over it, and it's like the smell of like a burning soiled diaper. Uh, wash oh. it as it starts like fire starts to crackle through. No wonder this thing know. wants to die. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, relatively new parent GM. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and if I can still, I will stand up. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can stand up. Yep. And then we come over to our party's cleric. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Um, all right. So I brandish my overly blingy uh, holy symbol. 
holy symbol, and I yell, the power of the Lord of morning time <laughs> compels you to flee. And I'm going to make an intimidation roll. Okay. Take advantage, because this thing is really not happening. Uh, 17. 17. Yeah. It looks up at you, and is, it stops for a moment, looks you in the eye, and says... No, wait a sec. I might be from another world, but really. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't ruin this for me. They think I'm a cleric. <laughs> Can't you, sh you shuffle back a few feet? It's Is that supposed like, to ask? <laughs> and it's like, any excuse to get the heck out of here. And it starts flowing back to the corner. From the huh? 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 Oh. It looks Air terrified. Five. <laughs> right. It's trying to flee back, and you can't. The, sh the cutter's kind of shadowy, but it looks like there's actually a hole there now. Is it since it moved away? Yeah. There's like oh. an overly large. You know, it's maybe like only like I mean eight nine inches high, about six inches wide. But it starts flowing back toward it. By the, the way, our belief not, right there. Wait, now that he's speaking common, do we not want to have him just tell his other friend not to attack us? No, we're gonna kill his friend. Too. He's pretty cowed. You know, he's like, uh, wow, I mean, like if they. <laughs> Basically, sorry, just, if they think you're a cleric, these, you must be really powerful. And oh. definitely not a cleric. Maybe a warlock? Oh, it's, kind of, it's, kind of it's amazing. It's I don't, we don't really want to get But these drugs have now made him you know, semi-intelligent, so we can probably talk to yeah. him and find out some information sure. before we, like... Yeah. Well, how about... You, there are more of you? There, there, uh, there, there's one more of us downstairs. Why don't you just take the, you know, take, smoke them if you got them. You know, take a little break. Look, we just want to go home. Yeah, let's Like, do this that. place is terrible. The food yeah. is awful. Like, I was just, like, working in the third Magak factory mm. with Fogaza <laughs> and, like, eighth dimensional parallel X <laughs> manifestations <laughs> and with the fully, you know, revealed pineal gland. And I got pulled the map. Like, it was fantastic. I was going to take a vacation next week. And now I'm here yeah. with a giant ball of eyes and mouths. And you have, again, like, five miles between all of you, this is ten, only ten. It's a ridiculous place. So, clearly, I am the most magical person here. You are pretty badass. I'll yes, say. because <laughs> now we can communicate. How would you like to make a deal with us? What kind of deal? We well, have a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! A lawyer! <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it goes back, even, and it says, "They got a lawyer." And you lawyer. <laughs> and oh, I, Mike. <laughs> and then I say, well, if we can find out who summoned you, we will give you free reign to wreak whatever revenge you want, provided, and, and help you get home, provided you don't attack anybody else. What do you say? That sounds pretty reasonable. Uh, look, <laughs> look, we just Would you like to sign that deal in triplicate? <laughs> <laughs> it sort of like reaches like the mouth. <laughs> it's the wizard. His name, uh, name I... Uh, I can't remember his name, but he, he, he summoned us to protect the summoning circle downstairs and the ritual object that he used. He teleported this gigantic thing into the basement of this place and then oh. made off of it. Early this, you call it morning, with a the giant ball of fire that comes out. How do you live with a giant ball of fire? You could crash into your planet at any time. It's ridiculous. This entire place is insane. You're all insane. Does somebody named Auriculap have anything to do with this? <laughs> no, I think I'd remember, that doesn't that doesn't sound like the wizard's name. How about Eric? Eric? No, that doesn't. What about Qlap? I forgot the rest of it. Herlap? There was the tailor. We were spying on him. Oh, well, that's where we saw you before. <laughs> is it, oh, is it his, does he have anything to do with this? Oh, no, he's in, he's he was he's such a rube. We just waited until he was too drunk to keep working, and he stumbled out, and that's when the wizard. What's his name? Oh. Like, he. He had us go, and he used his magic. We kept an eye outside while he used his magic. So, so where's the wizard? Oh, we don't know. He makes us stay here and guard the summoning circle. So you will let us go to the summoning circle? Oh, it's down, it's down those cr stairs? You could break your neck walking in those things. That's dangerous. How can you just have those everywhere? You have multiple stories. That's ridiculous. This place is insane. This place is the worst. Everyone is nuts. We're going to freely go downstairs, and then we will send you home. Okay. Oh, that sounds Perfect. Do you know where the wizard is now? No, no, he would not. He, we, since he got the, the giant cloth thing, he and the, the, the big, the guys who look kind of like that one, and like, like three pseudopods with mouths on the end. But do you know where the wizard is now? <laughs> <laughs> Third time's the charm. <laughs> not now. Well, in time, it only goes one direction. 
how do you live like you're, just old, you're all going to get old and die hey look so we're we're way. not being paid one way to find a wizard we're being paid to find a hat it doesn't even go sideways how do you have, how do you have time not go sideways <laughs> how do you live so while another pile of eyeballs and rotten flesh is pontificating i sneak downstairs to destroy the ritual object okay you head downstairs and you see there's a pentagram a dark and evil pentagram gilded in blood in the Ooh. middle of it there is a object it looks it's made of it's black black is the darkest night mm. and you know, it looks sinister can only probably use for for no no sane civilized means it's uh looks like it is about uh an inch thick three inches in diameter it's pure jet black it's like right in the middle of the and i'm getting the evil vibe off of it yeah, it just looks like it just looks sinister okay um hmm i don't know good evil eh. <laughs> six of, six of one half dozen in the other preach sister but I mean. <laughs> we do have a cleric, so yeah. this is a dark thing. We have somebody who does holy things with the church. Hey, cleric! I'm, meanwhile, I'm talking to the giving mouth. Oh, there. and yeah. gods? <laughs> they, they could kill you at any moment. That's, that's ridiculous. They when I don't get a response, I go, meow. <laughs> yeah, meow. <laughs> meow. Meow. I leap down the oh, wall. Oh, and fur. Don't get me started. Fur. Ah! How do you live with that? Well, I'm feeling so attacked right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going down the hole. I'm all just, right. I'm just, the cat disgust is all over the place, and I'm leaping down the hole to my friend. You see another one of those gibbering things, like hiding in the corner, and there is a pentagram inscribed <laughs> in Louis, and there is this just rubbery black object, one inch thick, about three inches across, circular like a disc. I will follow my tabaxi friend downstairs only because I already know that's where it is um, and wonder to myself why nobody's actually calling the only magic user <laughs> <laughs> down I'm, to the basement to deal with this thing. I'm going to stay with the mouther up above and listen to him finish his observational humor about <laughs> the prime material plane because I feel like he's put a lot of work into this. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I don't want to be a bad audience. <laughs> <laughs> I want to respect the craft. I want to, I want to respect his craft, so I'm going to listen to his, to his you know, Seinfeld, but far realm. It, it gets a little old. I mean, he seems to be kind of like, like, like really, is that offensive? Like, does that I actually mean, scare you? Know, you? I'm, I'm like, not going to, like, a clap at everything, but yeah. I want to at least hear. <laughs> you can tell it's more, it's pretty stretched pretty thin in a lot of oh, cases. It, he keeps returning to the theme of, like, that's just crazy. And <laughs> it gets All a little right, old well, after a while. In Lunch, that case, I can't crazy. see myself A third meal? What? what? Like... All right, He's so workshopping it. Yeah. <laughs> it's Heading downstairs, you see again the pentagram and that strange black object. Did you come downstairs? Y yeah, I'll come downstairs. I heard cleric and I thought, oh, okay. I'll say, okay, cleric, do your thing. Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna need everyone to hold hands. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's just hey, it's just this. this trust me, I'm a cleric. <laughs> Oh, you're not there? Uh, no, yep. I'm, I'm being a polite guest up above. <laughs> Hand to paw. You got a touchy touchy. I'm going to need it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Again. <laughs> All right. Um, I, by the power of the Lord of Breakfast. I declare, decree this area sanctified. <laughs> it's good, guys. We're good. We're out. So Let's go. <laughs> as soon as you finish, like the, suddenly a blue flame, whoosh. See? And a strange insectoid-looking uh, creature with a blue carapace. I tell us a soul, a soul, a soul looking to be sold. Oh. Oh, let's make a deal. <laughs> Should I do the let's big, talk. The big I'm one? Interested. Kindred big spirits, my <laughs> yes, friend, you didn't have to invoke right. the magic words as soon as you came into the room, I can tell. Okay. Okay. You were Burn looking at the bargain. That's okay. True. Okay. Hey, guess what? I'm super chaotic and don't know how to use my magic. So, before he can do anything, I'm totally going to and. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses, and I also don't know how to pronounce this. I'm going to Aganazar's Scorcher. Oh, Aganazar's yes. Scorcher. Yeah, Aganazar's Scorcher, yeah. His, wall of fire. whoever this is, which is basically like a 30-foot long wall of fire. <laughs> Whoosh, ready to say, so it's a saving. And I'll be like, oops, 
So yeah. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Oh, he will fail his saving throw. And um, so I guess that. Um, hey, I was talking Then to that he guy. takes three d8 fire. All right, roll it. Um, so here I go. Let's clear these guys out of the way. Come on, guy. Be nice. Ooh, seven. seven four. Eleven. Oh, 16. All right. He yelps in pain as the fire washes over him. Uh, it looks like it pretty clearly has hurt him pretty badly. Yeah, I have ah! aimed it so it doesn't hit anybody else, but it is 30 feet long and 5 feet wide, so Oof. sorry, basement of this bookstore. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, there's nothing <laughs> flammable here. Yeah, of exactly. course not. <laughs> yeah. Give me a, uh, let's see a, a d20 roll, please. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> That will be a nine. All right. You see as ha -ha, you, your flame strikes this creature, and as it rears back and tries to shield itself, you can see that there is on the back wall, there are a few shelves. It looks like maybe they're overstock. And <laughs> oh, there's like no. some flames now kind of yes. crawling up the side of the back wall. Well, it's overstock. The Da Vinci kindling. <laughs> What's yeah. important is that we kept knowledge out of the hands of the poor. <laughs> 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 and thus, the structure of our power <laughs> remains in place. And, and more importantly, our economy. He's hitting a yes, little exactly. too close to home, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> you, did, you thought this was going to be fantasy, <laughs> but it got real. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, hey, yeah, I did that. So, Are we in combat? So the, this, <laughs> Are I think we? we might be oh, now. Talking bug just thing. a guess, just a rough Does it have antennae anymore? Or like, what <laughs> it's is pretty it? scorched. What does it look like? And pretty it's pretty scorched, scorched and, it's, and you can see now, there's essentially it's like a dimensional opening that this object has created, and it's really, it's back into it. Oh, stay your spells. I can help. I can make a deal. Yeah, <sighs> let me make a deal. I want to make a deal. But he seems pretty cowed. Like, he was not expecting to poke his head through and get That's a good play. Well this done. is an aggressive bargaining position. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Burn him first, then talk. Set them on fire. Yeah. Fire. Very fire. simply. Fire. fire. Who was the wizard that conjured you? The, well, the wizard, that... Uh, who? Yeah, who created the pentagram? You know, he didn't mention his name. Mm. Where did he go? What but did he look like? I Let's call him Eric. Human? Or, or <laughs> Christ. No. I, I, human, we, I think? We can make a deal if you give us his current location. Sure, what kind of... What are you looking to offer? Your life. My life? Mm, your spell was powerful, but I'm willing to bet I could probably take at least one of you to the grave with me. Probably true. I'm okay with that. <laughs> 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 Those odds are pretty good for you. I don't know if everyone else. Throw some drugs in his mouth. Hmm. Yeah, drug him. <laughs> we, uh, this has worked out, really well so before, far. <laughs> before I take out any drugs, I take out that strange bottle, that vial of bubbling liquid that I have no idea what it is, and I uncork it, and I just kind of give it a little whiff, see if I can determine if it's, like, healing oh, or sure. poison or an what it is. 21. Ooh. All right. Um, you realize, as you look at it, the bubbles are moving on very quickly. You realize it's a potion. If you drink it, it'll give you the effects of a haste spell. Of a what spell? Of a haste spell. Oh, oh I spell. drink that. <laughs> 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 All right. Way to think tactically. I love it. <laughs> yes. Demon so contained in a pentagram. Extremely <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a certain profligate tailor we're willing to trade. <laughs> a tailor? Yeah. He... he <laughs> I don't agree to any of this. <laughs> <laughs> he's already, he's given us power of attorney. So he really doesn't have <laughs> I <didn't laughs> what? any say in this any longer. Oh. <laughs> so I am willing to sign over our entire rights to everything he owns. You're also our executor of his estate, by the way. Oh, done and done. Yeah, so, <laughs> so well. now you tell us to give us the location of the wizard and we'll, we'll get this deal done. I will happily do it. I well, get my notary seal out. I'm ready to get this done. Fantastic. <laughs> you whoosh brandishes a scroll. Ah, I'm sorry, it should be binding on my end. We really need to kind of obey the legalities of my jurisdiction. Hold up, just yours. for a second, please. Do not sign that contract. Okay. So while all this is going <laughs> on, after having drink in the haste spell, you said there was another one of those garbage, trashy, eye, Maui mouth things, yep. and I understand him, right? Yep. I said, I rush over to him, hopefully, you know, so the insectoid Insected. <laughs> it's a Decepticon. And it's like, uh, the, uh, the insect doesn't see. And I say, are you hungry? Uh, maybe. Do you want some lunch? And I point to the insect. 
<laughs> you could send them no. home. No, lunch is already, so I think my colleague upstairs established, a little scary to us. We don't get this entire meal thing. And he's really scary and pretty big, and he's got a big spear, and I do not want to mess with him. He has a big spear? Uh, yeah, he hasn't shown it to you yet, because he's, when, last time the guy called him, he was, yeah. This is kind of like maybe just part and aspect of him. Oh, that's not a good thing. Not a good thing. Uh, how do we send it back? Uh, I think if you break or sign the contract or break the seal, like break the seal. To, to destroy, wait, that wait, that could let him. I'm just a gibbering mouth. I don't know much about magic. <laughs> if you break the hey. seal, something will happen. He might come in or he might go out. I don't. Are those the same here? Ah, odds are fifty-fifty. <laughs> Would you like to use a tentacle right now? I use a w what? You know the little slimy things. You know, maybe just like inch your way into the circle I, and see I, what I happens. I'd rather stay away from him. He's okay, scary. I would like to roll persuasion. Okay, go for it. <laughs> All right, if you'll stop talking to me, maybe I will. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really confused. Stop flapping stop your single to mouth me at me. The DM <laughs> says. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, it's the gibbering mouth there who said it. <laughs> that would be a nope, uh, an eight. I, d I don't really want to go anywhere near him. He's scary, even more scary than you. <laughs> so we're gonna, look, look, don't let me keep you. I know you got a lot of things to do. <laughs> so why don't you, you know, don't, no, we're not gonna keep you, we're good. Can All I, right, good so, night, good day. so I go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> the other one. <laughs> I'm like, again. Mm. Uh, yes. Well, scoot around. It's it's not Got every day I get here. to speak cat. I'm you sorry. don't speak cat. You know one word in cat. You know one. You literally know one <laughs> word in the Tabaxi language, and you don't even get the inflections right. <laughs> <sighs> what can I say? I learned it in a bookstore. <laughs> um, so, uh -huh. so this thing. Uh -huh. How much do we like our cleric? <gasps> do I hear this conversation? No. <laughs> you can make a perception check. If I will. To keep it low. Two. <laughs> 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 I Stay told hot. you. Stay hot. <laughs> I hear looks, nothing. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the crackle of the burning books is, is drowning out their words. Sure. <laughs> I'm about kind of like putting fire here. Uh, monster here, <laughs> other monster there. Let's do the human resources thing later. <laughs> no, um, I just wanted to know who the contract was signed with. Is that all of us or just the cleric? I Didn't we sign it with yeah, for the is, gnome? I don't think, I'm, yeah, this is, I'm a proxy that yeah. I'm signing over the gnome, the tailor. The tailor oh, is he's signing. He's the what? tailor to this dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why you. What the, you uh, maybe I thought it was like a gnome, you know, brotherhood kind of thing. All of a sudden, that reared up. But, uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's just, just a general don't sell beings to the devil kind oh, of thing. Yeah, I'm good at that. No, that's fine. At yeah. first, <laughs> I mean, it's just a little tiny insect, and those live all over the forest. I mean, hedge maze likes to eat them. So I figured, eh, what the hell? Maybe break the circle. But we're actually good if we, you know, sacrifice. The tailor to yeah. a terrible, horrible, horrible being. Yeah. We probably won't get our suits, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's got fabric, right? We just take it to a different tailor. That's Fabric's true. Fabric's the most expensive part anyway. That's true. God, I love the rationalization. All right, let's great. do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm All right. a freelance artist. I'm just really hurt by this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> The markers are the most important part. <laughs> yeah. the it's the pencil. The it's the pencil. We have the pencils. <laughs> <laughs> she used to be my business manager, people. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> I'm still upstairs. <laughs> I don't find the gibbering mouthers routine particularly funny, but at this point, I've listened to so much that I'm experiencing a sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just sticking with it to see how it he's, is. He's gone so far that he now is just, like, shamelessly, like, ripping up, like, oh, and what about, you know, instant coffee? Like, <laughs> what's up with that? Right, right. In that case, <laughs> I say, like, oh, okay, I give him a polite applause. Like, oh, all right, all right. You know, great. You've been in that line so long, you really want to see what's at the end. Like, like yeah. great, great. And then... Uh, you know, at my leisure, I'll wander down. They, <laughs> they seem busy with something, so <laughs> I don't want to be a bother. 
Well, if you want to make a deal, I, this sounds like a great uh, deal. Is, yeah, let's do I'll this. I'll take it. Okay, yeah. one gnome soul. Ah, well, <laughs> maybe we mm. could do mm. like another deal here. Mm. Yep, this one's done. Please don't stop me, the giant blue insect devil guy. Please. Oh, is Eric here? It's the voice coming from up at the oh. stairwell. Oh, hey. Yeah, you gotta just like. We should firebolt Eric. <laughs> this is the only way. No, they can get the hat. <laughs> There's a lot of other ways. Uh, you, 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 oh, oh. If we find the hat, I still need to do the work on it. I still need to do some work on it. Just make sure he signs the contract. Yeah, I, I okay. can probably do the work on it. Yeah, I think we're good for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'm just get another artist. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm, they're, I'm, they're all fungible. are going <laughs> so up after the session. <laughs> I'm <laughs> assuming that I'm good at tailoring. So, yeah, sure. We don't need that, no. Someone could cast mending. I mean, yeah. <laughs> right. I am shooting this damn thing. All right, you're going to attack <laughs> oh, it. No, you're not. No, if, he's, if no, I he's leading him, us to the wizard. Yeah, we, if we're I so see close. you shooting this thing, I'm going to do an attack of a top. Uh, opportunity and try to get him. Like, do I notice him trying to? I mean, you're pulling out your bow. She's just okay. So if he's pulling bolted. out, if he's pulling out his bow, all right. I'm gonna take an attack of opportunity to try to like knock him back and be like, oh no, you don't. Do you try to <laughs> squeeze off a shot, or do you? When I'm you gonna see try her? to squeeze off a shot. All right. So give me opposed dexterity checks. Oh, this will be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nuts. Nine. Nine. Can you be oh, nine. Get better than a nine. Come on, you can do it. Ooh. Yeah, that would be a 22. Okay. <laughs> so you go to take a shot, and as you're rearing back, the arrow just kind of keeps going. Is it just like, a, <laughs> no, no. Just like, let's just pull that out of your nope, hands. Nope, This is the face of no. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you sign the contract? Yes, I, yep, okay. I do. I do as, as, his, as his counsel and proxy. I do sign him away to whatever happens to him left. After All right. It's like fantastic. Yep. Uh, Deal's a deal, man. I'll be seeing you. Um, Eric? That's a weird name for a gnome. <laughs> well, anyways, the it's wizard. Not, it doesn't happen immediately, Eric. You're good. He's like, ah. <laughs> uh, he's, the, he's at the clock tower. He's putting the, f the finishing touches on the hat. Uh -huh. Awesome. Okay. Not so awesome. Yeah. The finishing touches meaning... Is that a sex act? <laughs> <laughs> That's not where I was going with this, <laughs> but I'll allow it. I don't know what they do in Brindenburg. <laughs> I would like. I, would I like was thinking something of evil and magical. Dollars, Alex. Uh, oh, I, I, I've told you where he is. Perhaps another deal can be made to tell you what he's up no. to. But I've got a soul no. already. I'm, I feel no. as if this no. has been a profitable. We're, we're, yeah. we're fine with that. Nope. Let's just go. That's fine. We'll go no. stop him. Let's go destroy right. time. But I do like how I'm like going for the whole evil magic oh. thing, and you're going for the whole like something sexy thing. I'm a half orc. I'm a very sexual being. <laughs> <laughs> Said so no half so can ever. we yeah, look at that's the ever been said thing before. in the middle? Yeah, yeah, the uh, yeah. Can we look at before we leave really quickly? Can <laughs> I look at this pentagram thing? Right, real so quick. <laughs> with the deal concluded, with a puff of acrid smoke, the ice devil disappears, <gasps> and you yeah, can we don't see. Want that. We don't want to fight that. Uh, yeah, this is, seems to be a, um, a a conjuration circle, um, with the object in the middle being used as a focus to contact the nine hells. Right, so we could take that object, the focus object, and I could just um, mage hand that into a pouch without touching it and put it away somewhere. Yep. So I'll do that. Seems and um, <laughs> does anybody want to carry this? No. Does anybody want to kiss it? No, I don't really, I don't really carry stuff. I will stuff. make sure to keep it. <laughs> As far away for me as possible, but I will take it away just in case. Okay, got it. Does that seem like a reasonable thing for me to do to make sure nothing happens with this? Yeah, it looks like from, from studying it, as long as it's really the focus that's important, the, the symbols are just used to, to focus the magic to access. All right, thing. but by taking the focus away, I feel confident that nothing can happen here that's until. Right, yeah. You can yeah. always light the floor on fire. I would be totally fine with that. Well, but what if we need to get in there? <laughs> so it's starting to burn. Like that fire is getting a bit more. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm scared we, yeah. might, we might need to come back and um, put it back and get in there. Can you put those fires out first? Um, I f did I take control of the flame? Hold on one moment. <laughs> in the meantime, Fahrenheit 451, the role-playing game. <laughs> yeah. 
Take it's that no idea. longer a dystopia anymore. <laughs> I cannot control the flames that I make. I am sorry. I... <laughs> They are burning merrily, by okay. some definition. Uh, we could try to put it out with some water. Or some snow outside. Uh, oh, yeah, there's Let's snow just outside. Dump some snow Come on, on it. It'll be fine. The this bookstore sucks anyway. <laughs> 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 on her way out, I look at the Barnes and Noble looking guy who's completely like out of sorts, and I'd be like, so there's a fire in the back. Uh -huh. Did, didn't they know. faint? A bunch of them did. fainted, a bunch of them ran. So oh. some of them were starting to like kind of come to from oh, the sheer I mean, terror. Good luck. <laughs> 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 that could not have gone better. Sorry. Got some yeah. cash. <laughs> made a deal. This was great. We got a lot done. We got I a lot that's done. That's the that really I think good. that is like achievement unlock checklist complete. Like you terrified innocent bystanders. Yep. Uh, yes. You spoke to a bizarre creature. Whoa. You set a building on fire. Yep. You made a deal with the devil. Yep. Sounds yeah. like a regular day. Us. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah, don't know like for <laughs> sure that they're innocent. That's fair enough. <laughs> They were say. trying to spread knowledge. They were selling <laughs> books to poor people, which is not allowed, according to this party. <laughs> and frankly, brick and mortar bookstores are doomed anyway. That's right. You know, you're, you're just like you're helping them break through, get out of their rut, and yeah, move on evolve. to an online oh, model. Oh, that was depressing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everything's online. All right. To the watchtower. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to. Watchtower. I'm going to escape before anyone like points out that I haven't been introduced to the devil yet. <laughs> and like, I don't really want to know him, so I'm going to like tastefully escape before it's <laughs> awkward. <laughs> oh, it's awkward. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> What is the wild? <laughs> yeah, so does, does anyone have a player's handbook handy, or we can look it up? I, ca I can bring it up as well. Okay, All right. great. So you're going to roll a D100. All right. Friggin'. All right, here we go. Come on, pink. 98. Oh, that's oh. uh-oh. 18 double knot, is that what you get? I don't know. <laughs> you are surrounded by faint ethereal music for the next minute. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah. is this what all wild magic is like? <laughs> Unfortunately. This, I take, I interpret that as a sign I was about to say from Orc Jesus, but I'm not <laughs> going to. Uh, I take that as a sign from above that I am doing the right and just thing <laughs> by burning these books <laughs> <laughs> and these people. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I walk off with a little spring in my step. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Please, donate more and have me do that. That, that the, was great. The ethereal music sounds very much like the double clicks. Sure. Except, <laughs> I'm still high. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more like Metallica. terrifying shrinking, <laughs> but that's cool. That's, that's music to me as an orc. So do you adopt the god of lavender then, since you're so <laughs> celestial? <laughs> I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I'm on board with a, I'm on board with a god that lets me leave people to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's also apparently the god of breakfast, so yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I think great. I, I like yeah. will maybe adopt this god at this point. Like, so <laughs> breakfast is he good. He gets all his stuff You're done in the morning. That's pretty much lavender. what I have. Right. It's very task-oriented. You never yes. know. All right. In the meantime, though, I think we should go to the uh, clock tower and find this magical hat. Although I just realize that I've lost my motivation for completing this job because we consigned our payor to hell. He wasn't really paying us much, but <laughs> we do think mm. that... Oh, still a claim. Okay, we, we still have a claim to go for. We have his entire shop. I can bank off that. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. No, that's ours now. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I mean, there this were like great. rolls and rolls of silk in there, yeah. right? What, so. if, what if we just turn the rest of the game into like a nice sitcom where we're like... <laughs> A bunch of mismatched people <laughs> running a tailor shop, <laughs> try, trying to make it in this crazy world. Your, your wacky next door neighbor is a bundle of screaming yeah, flesh. Yeah, like, <laughs> the gibbering <laughs> mouthers are our neighbors. It's like forty something, but in Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. yeah. Well, in Dungeons and Dragons, like with elves, it'd be like one hundred eighty-two, eighty-something. <laughs> something. <laughs> something. <laughs> something. <laughs> something. Either way, let's go destroy the clock tower <laughs> so that the people lose hope. That, <laughs> <laughs> that is an option. <laughs> All right, onward to destroy hope. <laughs> I heard that right. <laughs> let's go destroy hope, gang. <laughs> 
Again. <laughs> uh, we always destroy hope. All right. Hey, I will um, head to the clock tower. How's okay. that? <laughs> I will follow the axe of seeking. I, I do think, though, that the, the, the title of this adventure should probably be The Gang versus Wealth Equality. <laughs> right? Yep. Whatever we can do to destroy it, yep. that's what we're there for. All right, so onward to the clock tower. You make your way through the streets of Brindenford. It's we getting later now. We pointedly do not look over our shoulders at the bookshop <laughs> that's on fire. That's <laughs> someone else did that. The flames very slowly starting to spread. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's someone else's problem. Maybe a fire brigade running runs past you frantically at some I, point. I hope they reach no, the people I mean, inside. Yeah, <laughs> you hope, but you know, who can say, right? The, as you approach the clock tower, it looms above you, 30, 40 feet tall, mm -hmm. and you see the massive snow sculpture of a huge, burly, humanoid shape has been built next to it, scaffolding surrounding it. Uh, it looks like the dwarves must have just finished. The huge thing standing there, the top of its head cleanly sculpted to allow <clears throat> a giant uh, toque to be dropped upon it uh, when the time is right tomorrow, the unveiling to celebrate the defeat of the great snow titan. Can I pause our running to the clock tower really quickly to discuss something with our uh, party? Be my guest. Just what in case. I'm novel? suspicious of everything. Just in case. Should I just melt this thing right now? Oh my god, I was thinking the same thing! <laughs> <laughs> because so, I'm so scared we're not going to get there on time, and somehow this ma magic hat is already evil or something stupid. <laughs> 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 no, um, I think we should destroy this snowman just in case. I mean, I know there's a whole festival yeah, no, no. built this around it, and I know the whole, all the townspeople and all the kids will be crying because they've come out to this festival, but... We're destroying is, hope for their own good. Is it worth <laughs> the risk of maybe this thing coming to life and killing us all? Well, I, I think know. he's trying to summon the snow titan, Obvi. Yeah, Obvi. <laughs> what does Obvi mean? He's I don't know. I, we're in, we're in, well, I know that. I know that, but <laughs> Ember doesn't know that. But anyway. Um, melty, melty. Melt? Or are we going to be really, like, run Why out of town? Why do both? So if you melt the snowman, I can send Maze up to the clock tower to spy on the wizard. I don't know. What if we set the rest of the town on <laughs> fire? <laughs> <laughs> that will melt the snowman naturally. Yeah, we didn't and do it. And kill the wizard in the tower. Which is true. And, and Our problems are solved. I mean, I'm not actually sure I can melt this whole thing because I just wasted my, like, really big fire thing on this dude that just negotiated with us right afterwards. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but I could try. I mean, it is snow. Well, I want to know what the wizard is doing before we start, you know, let's blasty, let's blasty. That's why I wanted your opinions. I'm not going to do it until you guys tell me, do it. Let's spy on this dude. Okay, let's go spy. But okay. the option is there. Hmm. What time is it now? I mean, could we be spying? And would, if you got a short rest, could you get your big blasty thing back? I think I, be, oh, I believe I need a long rest for that one. Dang it. But I have, like, burning hands and stuff, so that's still available. Burning hands is the worst. Hey, concept. I still have to produ <laughs> produce flame that I can just like. It's snow, guys. Yeah, it's just it's yeah. literally snow. <laughs> so I can just go like this. <gasps> what if you go inside the snowman mm. and do that? And nobody would know because you could start melting them from the inside. And then if it becomes a snow titan, you're like in the snow titan. And we're back to sex. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, was only not going there at all. <laughs> Thank you very much. You notice how it's always the dudes that are. My like, daughter's oh yeah, sweet, total way, misogyny. Right <laughs> oh my god. Hey, um, I'll do it if you guys say do it. Otherwise, let's go spy on the wizard. I just wanted to put it out there as an option. Let's let I, I say we spy on the wizard. We haven't gotten to do anything with the hedge. That's true, and he is super cute. Is it he or she? I, you know, I thought it was rude to ask. Yeah, I guess so. But how do you know its name? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> probably ask for ID. We have a know. secret language. Oh, us okay. Forest gnomes with the thing. And, I like it. Know. Okay, yeah, send them on out there, or send them all up send there. Send them on up there. So yeah. Maze. Would Lavender like to bless Maze? Uh, yes. Um, 
by the power of all that is delicious in the morning, I mushrooms. Yes, waffles, I, I grant you this uh, boon uh, on your next D twenty roll. Ooh. It's a D six. Oh, very nice. Mm. So Maze scurries off my hat. Just pretend he's invisible for a second. They are invisible for a second. Runs up okay. the watchtowers. So do you have any uh, like link, or does he we'll have to? Yeah, come it's back. Li it's like a little bit of a telepathic link. Okay. And I can read like nose gestures and Got ear it. twitches. And so like, like basically, that. from a distance, <coughs> will will they have to come back, or can you have a connection? I just forget. Do you have a link at a distance? Um, to back? Just I would tell him you can see through his eyes. Yeah, that. <laughs> that's, that's more dramatic there. All right, so. You know, like Beastmaster? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I'm totally ripped for that, yeah. too. <laughs> These are your eye links right here. Oh, yeah, eyes. <laughs> awesome, my eye link. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Just go with so it. So go ahead and make a dexterity stealth check. Okay. Be familiar. And add the d6. Yeah, add a d6. Ooh, and add a d6. More dice is always better for me. <laughs> uh, an 11. An 11. Oof. Okay. And by the way, Ginger is feeling hurt right now. Why? You're sending a hedgehog to do a cat's job. Oh. And so A, A, his just say gnome to drugs line totally bombed. <laughs> B, his bow is apparently not working. It just kept bending backwards. And now this. It's, it's hurtful. Hashtag do I, hurtful. Do I notice that you are sad? Like, do you express your sadness to me, or do I need to have, like, situational awareness to understand? I'm, I'm a cat. I have exactly the same expression. It could be disdain. Okay. I would roll. like to roll, roll perception. perception. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> 15. 15. Oh, yes. You okay, so I notice, I notice Gingy yes. is sad. Very sad. So I grab... One of the powders. From my powder <laughs> powder. No idea what it is. Open it up, put it on my hand, and I just rub it all over their fur. And I'd be like, "There, there. This will make you feel better. You'll I be would, fine." I would like to roll for perception right now. <laughs> okay, go for it. Um, seventeen. Um, nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, yes. You you see the powder that has been applied. If you should I'm not like hiding it from you. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to pull out some of the some powder medicine. she gave me, and I'm going to put it on my paw. And <laughs> put it on my back. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but it'll make you feel better. Powders so always do. Why don't you both roll one uh, d8 each? <laughs> oh boy. Let's just use random dice. A three. Five. Five. Okay. So with a three, <laughs> as you rub the powder, you see, uh, you don't notice, you just feel like, it's suddenly you feel kind of colder. What you notice is you're rubbing the powder, like just tufts of his fur are coming off in your hands. <gasps> like, oh, it must be that exfoliant. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. Especially this time of year. Yeah, yeah it's getting chilly. Oh, mm. you're cloaking. And then you notice where you're sort of you rubbing know, the powder that's on her. That's not like, a bad idea. You, as you're watching the tufts of fur come off, I like, feel kind of warm, like wherever you're touching, like hair. Long, like <laughs> stringy oil, it's just sprouting <laughs> from her skin. I'm turning into you! And I'm turning into you! <laughs> Friend! Friend. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. We've learned something here today. <laughs> did, did, did the hedgehog find anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what well, the hedgehog? Has the wi <laughs> As is often under the D&D &D Has the wizard given up yet? Is this <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> whoa, that's way too weird, like, man. Uh, I don't know yeah, who those see, like, you look are. at the competition. Uh, leaning <laughs> out of the tower is like, what the f <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, anyway. Hey, you know so what? We're distracting the wizards. <laughs> <laughs> wink, 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 wink. Yeah, so I'm about to burn this clock down. <laughs> <laughs> your hedgehog scurries up and sees the wizard. There's an enormous hat at the top of the, of the chamber, at the top of the clock tower. There's okay. gears, ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Uh, but there's a platform maybe for like maintaining the gears, and there's the wizard, and he's weaving magic. And the hat, the 15-foot across hat, is floating to the air as power surges into it. <laughs> Forget my name, they have. They've forgotten the great terror I visited on this place. Well, this time I shall succeed. My hat, ah, yes, the magic. It is reawakened. The Titan shall walk once more. 
and they shall never forget me. Does he say his name in this monologue? <laughs> no, no. I mean, why would he? <laughs> he knows he his name. He information to us. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm making a beeline for this freaking snowman. Okay. Like, it's just, like, right there. Like, I do ask Maze one question. What is the wizard standing on? Uh, he's standing on a wooden platform. Oh, perfect. With the hat. But the hat. I don't want to destroy the hat. It doesn't matter. I want to <laughs> destroy make the snowman. Trick. Yeah, go for it. So you destroy the wizard. Just burn the platform 13. that he's on. I was going to just destroy the snowman, and there's nothing the hat the hat only on. works with the snowman. Or if it just snow. Work on, say, but then he depressed the entire tower tower as well. Hey, guess what? Snow has a lower DC than the wizard. Oh, yes. It sounds like it could. Definitely. So you're reconnecting right now? It could work. If you somehow get on the tower, it is definitely going to enemy the tower. Okay. Guys... The snowman may be, like, not the main thing right now. This hat could animate the tower. What? Just saying. Just what? set fire to them both. Oh, <laughs> just God. <laughs> <laughs> just, but the, just, the snowman is right in front of the tower? It's like the tower, and the snowman's being built, like, right next to it. And there's a scaffolding and everything where they've been working. All right. Shh, why did I waste Hold that Hold up just a second. <laughs> Are there people around right no, now? No, it's really late at night. It looks like the door's finished. They must have knocked off work. Maybe, you know. Oh, is oh. there an alarm bell anywhere? Um, nothing you could see in the immediate vicinity. There might be one up in the clock tower. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Because you could mage hand that bell. What, just to call people over? Oh, yeah. I mean, I could. Yeah, well, I'll do it just because. Why not? I mean, if we're going to burn things, we might as well have an audience. Thugs I'm Barry. trying to see if I can uh, if somehow the city, regain be this bell back. Exactly. That's good for contracts, right? Sure, it definitely is. And you could definitely orate from the top of that clock tower. I think we should enter it. Sure. Uh, are we still setting fire to things? I'm, I drifted off for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure either. Was, there's a, the, the, the hair swap was pretty off-putting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I kind of like, standing, I was waiting for yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second. I can totally cast this spell again. <clears throat> that was a growing minute. Oh, that's right. Mostly hair Your was growing, but it was I growing. can do it. Okay. Yeah, you... um, so here's what's going to happen here. I'm going to stand in front of the snowman, and I'm going to cast it again in front of the snowman, 30 feet to the clock tower. All right, so, so you want to catch them both? I want to catch them both. It's 30 feet long and 5 feet wide. Okay. And so I'm going to... Uh, how tall is it? It does not say... Oh, it's just the beam. Got it. It's, okay, um, yep. it's a wall of fire, basically. Got it. So... I'm going to say infinitely tall. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and you as the yeah, DM can correct me. What does that side words 8 mean? Yeah. Um, you know, because it's a wall of fire. All right, go ahead and roll so, your damage. Um, I mean, this is pretty much go. an inanimate object. You can just whoosh. Um, and I will <coughs> uh, like to point out that I'm doing this against a snow man, right? <laughs> yes, you are. That was good. What the heck? Seven. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven total. Seven total <laughs> points. Okay. I told you guys I suck. <laughs> it's very cold, though. Seven so points of fire damage, but okay. snow it is going down. Snow, it, it whoosh. So you, you're putting it like along the ground? or It's up? basically a five-foot-wide, 30-foot-long wall, which I'm assuming is at least as tall as I am, mm -hmm. of fire through the snowman. So which like, uh, along the ground? Along the ground All right. Whoosh. to the clock tower, so it should catch the clock tower on fire. Oh, it but, has. But I would, <laughs> I would say, in my professional fire genasi opinion, that snow would be melted instantly from that, even that little bit of fire. Oh yeah, no, you can see where you Convincing blast through. Argument? Oh, whoosh! I took physics in high school, and I totally agree with you. Thank you. <laughs> so, as your fire slices through the legs of the sculpture burst of steam as it cuts right through the snow, instantly vaporizing it. The sculpture starts to teeter. It's a pretty big sculpture, but you just took a giant, you just punched a giant hole through both of its legs. Can I um, do something knowing that it was, this is going to do this? Um, you know, like when loggers know exactly how to cut a tree down so it falls in the exact direction to not hit mm -hmm. anything? I would like it to make it so that it falls in the exact direction so that it hits the clock tower with the wizard in it. Okay. Sorry, Maze the Hedgehog. Hopefully you get down. <laughs> all right, so it teeters. Your fire slices through it. A burst of steam washes all over all of you. The fire reaches out and engulfs the bottom of the clock tower. It starts burning merrily. The Titan 
turns, teeters, starts to fall into the tower. Um, give me, let's say, let's say an arcana check to get a sense like how well you're able to control the spell to, to sort of just get that angle just right. Um, 13? 13, okay. So you are able to get it to start teetering funny. toward the side. The challenge is, as you cut it, you, your angle's not quite steep enough to make it like instantly fall over. It's starting to slough that way. It's, it's kind of teetering, and you can tell like it's going to take like a few moments for as the weight starts shifting and some of the snow falls down. And you see through your, your link to your... No! No! My plans! Impossible! I'll show them! They're... It's not ready, but I must chance it. And he conjures a great hand of magic that grabs the hat and flings it at the teetering and tottering snow thing as it slams into it. But no, no, I bet as the snow starts to smash into the clock tower, he rears back into it. No, they will never forget as he's crushed <laughs> under the weight of the snow. Yes. But the last gasp of his magic, the hat flops over the head as the tower smashes and suddenly the arms animate and brace itself as the great creature tumbles to the ground but rather than with a crash the two arms straighten out and catch itself as it turns its feet melted off it turns its blank expressionless head to all of you and emits a terrifying roar let's roll for initiative <laughs> I tried That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, orcs for good, here. isn't it? Its initiative is only nine, so... I got a three. I also... Ooh. Well, I have a five total. Five total? Uh-oh. How did we nine. lose nine. to okay. a nine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, because 23. we're awesome. 23? Okay, 23. <clears throat> I had a ten. Ten. Okay, so you can see now it's, it's been hurt, mm -hmm. and it's also without feet. It can't stand, so it's going to be stuck being prone. So you are going to have advantage on all your attacks against it because it's, oh, it's drawing. It's, it's pulling itself around. The, um, so with its nine, it is so immense that it essentially, game mechanic-wise, counts as uh, two creatures, its upper body and its lower body. Okay. So um, it, though, isn't going to get a chance to act on nine. So first, we come back over yeah, here to something. our rogue. So Ginger, what would you like to do? You see this thing is smashed down as it teeters, hits into the side of the bell tower. There's a great clatter and clang as the, uh, sorry, the clock tower. The gears snap and break. The pulped body of the wizard is smeared on one side of this creature. The bells inside start to clang. Um, which is interesting also because you hear the distant sound of clang of like, sounds like alarm bell somewhere from the scholar's district. I mean, there's a light over there, but anyways, <laughs> we'll get to that later. The, God, um, I hope no one's heard. As the creature pulls it, smashes into the ground with the wreckage of the tower embedded in it, and it turns and looks over at you, but you get to go first. What do you wish to do? I am, um, I'm going to be using feline agility to um, go up the clock tower. Okay. And it has been the upper half has been smashed off, so you, you can get up like maybe. To I'm, I was trying to see. Oh dear. Okay. Well, never mind that. I was actually trying to go save Hedge. Oh. <laughs> oh. He'll be okay. He's so small. He can like scurry down. But okay. I have, put I have all the down. faith. Put some in metal him. into it. I, that would be good for me. <laughs> Seriously. So I am going to um, just uh, get a position around the side of the clock tower. Short bow out. And then, fang. All right. Go, go for, for it. it. So maybe um, yell advantage, because it's prone, and you're right up next to it. Um, oh, and do you want to shoot the upper body or the lower body? Lower body's already been damaged. Yep. If you've been melted off, that's why it's... it's. I'm probably going for the upper body. Okay, go for it. Um, so so uh, the first was 13. Okay. The second is 18. 18 will hit. Excellent. Um, Sweet. And then I'm going to be using sneak attack on this. Uh, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because you, you had advantage in the attack. So, so that's five plus three, eight. Okay. So your arrow thuds into it, and you can see how it's animating. It looks like the sort of the snow is starting to turn into ice, and it's a transformation. Mm. But your arrow pierces through and smashes it, and sends shards flying everywhere, injuring it. Um, next up is uh, our sorcerer. Ever. Oh, really? No, sh I don't think so. You, 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 uh, did, did, oh no, I'm sorry. Our gnome is up next. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I had a five. <laughs> yeah. I would like to attack the hat. Okay. I oh, I'm sorry. I skipped. I am totally over the place <gasps> in my initiative. Our cleric is up next. Sorry, you have a ten. No, that's all right. So the, uh, 
the arrows that the arrow that is that the uh, um, the tabaxi fired embedded into this creature. Yep. I'd like to uh, heat the metal head. All right. Ooh, Let's go ahead and roll your sweet. damage. So six points of ouchy fire damage. All right, and that looks like it's having a pretty big effect on it as suddenly steam starts to emerge as the uh, nice. ice and snow is melting away. Mm -hmm. Now we're here uh, on nine. I would like to sneak attack the hat. All right, go for it. So remember, you'll have advantage on your attack. Okay. Uh, that will be a blah, 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 17. 17 will hit. Awesome. So I get 2d6 extra damage. <coughs> What kind of damage can I do? Not a whole heck of a lot. Um, roll three, six, five, six, and three. So that's 14, 14. to the hat. All right. Your arrow slices into the hat, and you see the uh, threads pop and strands fray. And the thing seems to jerk its entire body slightly for a second. It's only ice. That have been forming into like turns to uh, to snow and falls away from it, oh. uh, but it is now its turn. At least it's the turn for the upper body. <laughs> uh, so it turns and looks down at all of you <laughs> and rears back and takes in a huge breath and whoosh! Everyone, please give me Constitution saving throws. Oh boy! Uh, Good. Uh, your DC is fourteen. Twenty. <laughs> all right. So you made succeed. Sixteen. Sixteen yeah. succeeds. Fourteen. 14 succeeds. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I have a plus five constitution saving throw, and I have a 10. Ooh. Two. Two. All right. So with our oh two no. failed saving throws, that's 14 cold damage. Oh no. Everyone else takes I seven mean, cold damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Guys. And that was the upper body. I'm awfully turn. close it to dying. Moved. So then on, let's see. Luckily, we've got a lot of healers in this party. Do, what, do we, what, uh, what part of the body of the creature did, uh, did the tabaxi hit? Upper body. OK. Uh, the, the, if it can't divest itself of the heated metal, it has disadvantage on attacks for whatever that's worth. Got it. OK, yeah, okay so good. Th that was obviously a saving throw thing, but I will note that down. Yeah, con saving throw. Sounds good. Oh, is, is there a oh saving throw? Yeah, the, gets con the creature apparatus gets a con saving throw. Um, I'm gonna get a 17 on that. Yep, that's gonna. Be, he's gonna be able. I assume then <laughs> push the shard of metal out. I don't know. Yeah, that's. What yeah, you can just sort of reach in and send there it. There you go. All right. So then, next up on five is Ember. Okay. Well, I am going to um, produce flame and sh bolt it at him, or however you do that with your hands. All right. <coughs> Throw my flame at his face. Got so, so uh, upper body. Go. Or, huh? do want, do, or do you want to try to hit the hat? Oh, I think I'll hit the hat. Okay, mm -hmm. go for it. And you'll have advantage because he is top. That will be a 23. That will hit. Ooh, haberdashery yes. slayer. <laughs> Come on. Oh, eight. Okay. Fire damage. The, uh, I'm assuming cloth burns fast. It does burn pretty fast, yes. And actually, as your, your fire washes over it. Uh, you can see now it's burning, and again, the entire body of the thing, uh, sorry, that was eight, oh, no, sorry. Actually, the fire washes over the hat, and it's now fully in flames, and you see more snow falling from its body. It seems the entire thing is starting to disintegrate, but the magic, even as the hat is, is, is uh, slowly being eaten by the fire and destroyed, the magic is still coursing through it, though just not as strongly as it was before. As it rears back, uh, dragging itself over, and turns and twists and tries to sweep through the area with its leg. All of you, please make dexterity saving throws. It's a lower body attack. Oh, God. Nine. <gasps> Nine, that's Ugh. fail. That was a one, oh. so um, three total. Oh, oh wait, my wait, wait, God. Wait. I have advantage, guys, I have uncanny I, dodge. I'm oh. going to die, guys. I'm just letting you know. 20. Right. 20 will 14. succeed. 14 will succeed, so successfully or success. I failed. I Phil? Technically, I can't use my um, inspiration after I've already rolled one corrupt. Um, I let people roll it afterwards. Okay, so let's people forget. 
Well, <laughs> oh, right. I got a two and a one there. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank if, you, Inspiration Point. If you succeeded on the saving throw, uh, take seven bludgeoning damage. If you fail, take 14 bludgeoning damage. So I Wait. am down. Right, not these are dead. zero hit points. Zero. Yep, not dead yet. The cleric is unconscious. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. He couldn't have healed me anyway. What? I totally could have. Well, I don't know. All right. Well, that brings us over to our barbarian. All right. Well... You know, my companions are unconscious. But more importantly, this thing is bringing joy <laughs> to children <laughs> for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tolerate it. <laughs> so I fly into my rage. I'm going to use my second rage. <laughs> I assume this thing has no visible genitalia, but I'm going to attack <laughs> it anyway. Okay. You could carve some from the snow if it's I mean, like just carve we, it. We don't, have, we don't have time. We don't have time. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to plant my great axe right between its legs. All right, I'll say it's going, you're going for the lower body then. So lower body, the because that's the worst body. <laughs> <laughs> and I attack with a... Oh, Ten. Remember, you have advantage. I have advantage. Mm. Rah! <laughs> With an eleven. <laughs> eleven. See, <laughs> so you, you charge and begin hacking at it, but you see as it's disintegrating, you're, just, you're not able to land a solid blow. Well, as you're trying to, the ice just seems. Now, luckily, it is disintegrating, so good news. Bad <laughs> news, though, you just like you hit it, and it is just like hitting a, a snowbank. Like it just, there's just snow uh, flying around you. Your axe just slides right through it. You're not able to get a, a, a connect with a solid blow. All right. Well, this thing is clearly immortal. <laughs> uh, the best course of action is to offer it our unconscious companion. <laughs> oh no! And then. Oh no! Take All right. Off. No. So um, that's the end of the round. The hat has been destroyed. So could everyone roll a six-sided die for me? Four. 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 Five. Eight. Thirteen. Two. 15, Six. 21. All right. Uh, you see now the hat destroyed, the magic binding it together has unraveled. The lower body almost completely disintegrates into snow. The upper body uh, is very badly damaged. About half the snow uh, that it transferred is gone. So now it's just a gaunt echo of what it was before, but it's still active as we come to the top of the initiative order and over to our tabaxi. I make a death save. Okay. <laughs> Coming ready. Uh, yeah, 17. All right, so successful. Next up is our cleric. Same. <laughs> but I fail. That's the Ooh, only difference. Strike one. So, yeah, oh well. Are you conscious or? I am conscious. Okay. I look for powders. <laughs> we can't <laughs> solve. All right, I know I said we can solve everything with drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but. That's a bridge too far. Actually, yeah, you let's try, try to it. kill this, this thing before <laughs> it eats us. No, I want to see if there's something that's healing related, you know? Because, like, right. I'm almost down, you know? I mean, there's lots of death why don't, and destruction um, going on. Why don't you give me an arcana check? Okay. See if you can look through your stuff and find yes. something that could heal the group. I'm desperate you, here. You just, Cleric is you just saved useless. our barbarian from making the worst PSA in the history of this <laughs> land. <laughs> A 13. 13? Okay. Um, honestly, you find what looks like actually it's, it's choking powder, which you think, oh, this isn't useful. No, wait, if you throw it on an unconscious person, they might wake up from the choking. <laughs> I throw it at her? Okay. <laughs> We're going to choke you to life. <laughs> cough, cough, cough. Breathe, cough. damn you, breathe. Suddenly you come breathe. to <laughs> with one hit point <laughs> as you're coughing and sputtering. Anything else you want to do? There's a reaction to a move or Jeez. anything else? or. Um, do I have more of that choking powder? Did I use all of it, or is there just a little bit left? Um, roll a d20. Let's see how much you had to go through. Uh, make, make another kind of check. See, or, or, yeah, make another kind of check. See how much you had to apply to, to rouse your companion. Oh, that would be a four. <laughs> so <laughs> you shake the bag to see if there's any more left and realize, oh, wait, I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> no, the bag has been emptied. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The uh, upper body, You're it gets its dead. turn. You're not dead, but I'm uh, going to wait a second because the upper body's oh, going to attack Oh, it made the right saving now. throw against the effect to give it a disadvantage, right? That's right. Yeah, okay. So it is going to try to smash you because it sees, oh, you're standing uh, <laughs> as it's 
falling How apart, and it reaches back and bam! I take a free action to fry. <laughs> it didn't have disadvantage as it's falling. The uh, no, it would have had a sense of the melting, but now it's pretty mad, mm. and that's giving it the. And it's already <laughs> prone, so I haven't given you advantage on all your attacks. So this is going to be a straight attack against your armor class. Uh, Sixteen. Does that hit? Oh yeah. Uh, take seven bludgeoning damage. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. No! You're down to zero, but that does bring us over to the sorcerer, who is now conscious with one hit point. Um, okay, well... Yeah, actually, the gnome is... A, and then, ba-doom, <laughs> where the gnome is standing is a giant snowy fist. <laughs> <laughs> and then the fist spreads, and you see what is an unconscious... All right. Gnome. Let me see what I can figure I out here. I think... I'm really upset right now, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> can I... This is interesting. Since there are two parts, is the bottom half done or no? No, it's still, it's very badly damaged. Okay. Can I, since you're saying it counts as two creatures, mm -hmm. can I twin spell my produce flame? Oh, yes, you can. Well, then I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, is this with advantage still or it's no? It's still with advantage because it is still, still prone and you're right up in its face. I should have done that so before. I didn't think about it before. The lower body first. Um, sure. If you mind, it just sort of doesn't make a difference, right? God. <laughs> <laughs> that was well it. done. <laughs> I told, I warned everybody. Um, my highest is a nine. That is not quite enough to hit it as it's bearing down on you and you sort of have to panic and, and fling your spell as quickly as you can. But what about your second attack against, now you can change the target because, oh no, no, sorry, you twin spelled. So it's still an attack against the upper body. Well, instead, can I run away? <laughs> Yeah, you I have one hit point, and I'm trying my hardest here. Um, I have sacrificed myself. You can you're move. so upset you, you can't use your fire. You, you still get your, your second attack, uh, but you can then um, move away from it. It won't get an opportunity attack because it's holding itself up with yeah. its arms. You can okay, attack so and then run. Yeah. So I can attack, but I can't twin spell again now. No, no, you can only use that uh, once. Okay, attack. well, then I'm going to do the top part. Okay, go for it. Then get roll with advantage. Hey. That's much better. 23. 23 will Yay. hit. Yay! Double digits! Come on, damage. Seven. Seven. Fire damage to Fire the top. Fire damage. So as your spell washes over the top, it bursts and steam bursts from it. You hear the crackle of ice. A thick cloud settles over it. And then you hear a roar and a thud, and as the mist dissipates, you see you shorn it in half with your magic and destroyed the upper body, leaving That's only the legs nobody. ineffectually moving themselves. The legs are still going? The legs are still going. The legs are still going. <laughs> <laughs> Sweep the okay, legs. and then I run away out of range of, if I can't get there, I don't know how long these legs are, but as far away from these legs as possible. Got it. All right, you just book it across the square in a way. All right, the legs will go next. Our barbarian had just... So you went charged in and hacked down. Right. And the legs just try to whoop bang close shut on you. Mm. God, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> the I'm scissors. Uh, 16. Yeah, that hits. All right, that is going to be... Uh, now, you are raging, so you're going to take... Uh, you'll have this, so 10 damage have to fi five. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, and it is now your turn. Yeah, okay. Still doing good. All right, I'm going to attack... It, just whatever's left. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the two legs that it's I, like cut off at the do waist. Do I get advantage? Still you still get advantage. It's, it's prone because it doesn't have feet. Legs. Yep, it's <laughs> just feet. It's, it's, it's not in the full leg. It's like the thigh and like the lower right. leg. The feet are gone. All right, I'm raging. Uh, uh, 17. 17 will hit. All right, 17 hits. And All right, roll can you do five damage? I roll 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. With a roar, you leap upon the legs, hacking, <clears throat> slashing, <clears throat> ah, steam bursting everywhere as the fire races over it, smashing ice, shattering it, and soon you realize you're just beating the crap out of like the biggest snowbank as all <laughs> the snow collapses down as you have destroyed this thing and the magic that animated it dissipates harmlessly. So, with a mighty roar... I hold up my axe <laughs> and I shout to whoever, or to whatever young people might be watching. I said, children, we did this with drugs. <laughs> <laughs> we did this with drugs. 
Drugs are incredible. <laughs> Do them all the time. We have them, and we can sell them to you. <laughs> As you show that standing over the snowbank, you look and see there's a fire uh, brigade that is stopped and gaped at you as you make this pronouncement. <laughs> Say, hey, stop playing around that snowbank and help us put out there's a fire in the scholar district. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, pay us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I assume taking a moment to revive your, your downed comrades. No. No. <laughs> oh, that's the downside on. of the capitalism. We, thing. we woke one up by choking them. <laughs> <laughs> Will choking the others also wake them up? Perhaps with a right, decent I, was like, I go down the line one by one. <laughs> Strangle them and say, Stop dying! Stop <laughs> dying, you idiot! Uh, Maybe I shouldn't have given him all those mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes, I, I assume that revives them. Yeah, yeah, they revive the rest of the party. All right. The you are the, you're <laughs> so the most talented heal, healer in this group. <laughs> I am carrying this group. <laughs> So let's try to figure out like what happens next. Okay, so you've got a fire. We saved the town. Well, not t technically, maybe not, because the one person who knows what you were doing. We s we did sell him to. You <laughs> sold him to a devil. Well, he's not the, gone yet. No, he's just no. But, but wait a minute here. We didn't use the gnome's real name. But would your would your con would you, would that invalidate your contract? Um, well, know, who I'm cares? not really we sure. We got what we wanted. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not f up on uh, the abyssal code as such, but I'll be the infernal code. Infernal sir. code. Oh, so sir. probably I don't know. Um, you know, you it was certainly my intent code? to name him. I mean, I so, do speak yeah. infernal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you could find that out? I speak uh, infernal let's, if you need me go. to read anything. <laughs> You're just getting <laughs> out of town. To, like, to be fair, there's probably aren't too many outcomes that are good for the party given like the current every, situation. Like every every problem we have solved. We have also caused. <laughs> <laughs> so, mission accomplished. Yeah, it's time for me to set up my ministry. I think. So, yeah. like I'm saying, like, yes, good job, <laughs> but also bad job. <laughs> we, we did not cause the the hat to be stolen and remagicified. Would if that's a Cromulent word? Uh, we're probably true? not going to get our suits. Probably not going to get our suits. No, we're going to get the fabric, though. We're going to just... We, we now own this store. Yes. Also, we are mostly dead. <laughs> and because of our actions at the inn, everyone knows who we are. <laughs> Unless they're on fire. They could be. The fire doesn't okay, need to be so spreading. Yes, let's, let's... I think we should put out set, the fire. Yeah, let's, the just, let's just set a few more things on fire <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> the perfect plan. <laughs> So uh, you, or so should we have drugs? Or maybe drugs that light up on fire? Let's do drugs. <gasps> and Wait a minute. And then set things on fire. Do I have any drugs that, like, Turned smoke into Repo so Man, the yeah. town? You want to try to get the entire town high while they're trying to fight <laughs> That's fire. That's brilliant. Let's <laughs> start a fire and then throw okay. the drugs on the fire. <laughs> All right. I say I we, either, we either put out the fire or we burn the whole town down so there's zero evidence of anything. All right. Either say one or, say or the other. But we could make them hallucinate and have a good time, and then we don't have to burn anybody. But then they're right, going right. to die. Let's, let's split up. You target the orphanages. <laughs> <laughs> we are going you target <laughs> the schoolhouses. Uh, you, the puppy shelters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get the drugs high. Or I the dogs high. <laughs> yeah, the drugs. I, uh... Kiss everybody? I'll, I'll just start making out. Start making out. All right. will soothe this all well. over. Well... The heroes. I serial music <laughs> Maybe who yeah. came to Brindenford. <clears throat> Poor Brindenford. It's remembered to this day as once a fair and lovely city. Till one horrid night. <laughs> one terrible night. A great fire erupted in the Scholar District. There are those who say that the classiest, who I cannot remember. I am running on like four hours of sleep. I cannot possibly remember your character's name. Fogsbury Bloodmaw. <laughs> gentle Orc Adventurer. Parentheses. A barbarian of means and taste. <laughs> Who arrived at the shop, clearly under the influence of some bizarre dark magic that compelled him to attack books on sight. Uh, the staff doesn't remember much, the few who did survive the Inferno, uh, which, which did start, known as the Great Brindenford Fire. It was once a great 
Oh, we made festival. history, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're the new festival. Yeah. But it is, it is it now. It started in the basement oh, with that pentacle. Is this how Burning Man started? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't got We yeah. have the drugs, <laughs> and now we've replaced the snowman with a Burning Man. And remember, it was all thanks to drugs. <laughs> Do drugs. <laughs> Which, which is also the case with Burning Man. Exactly. <laughs> Do drugs and go to Burning Man. It Don't is listen to your parents. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter is so asleep right now. <laughs> Don't watch this. It is, it is marked in the North as a time of sorrow over the many who died in the Great Flame. As all folk came from far, all the buildings packed beyond code, of course, uh, but from beyond fire code, many died. But miraculously, when the fire reached the central clock tower, though it did destroy the upper top clock, clearly when the great snow sculpture melted from the flames, it collapsed, destroyed the upper reaches of the clock tower, but shielded the rest in a massive pile of snow mm. that that one smashed in half clock tower. With the one person, the nameless person, whose smashed and crushed remains they found in the top level, who clearly, on seeing the fire, had run up the top <laughs> and was attempting to ring the bell to alert everyone in town. No one knows who this person was, what their name, who was, who they oh. could have been. Probably just some random out-of-towner <laughs> who was gruesomely crushed by the massive weight of all the snow as it melted, falling along. Is He's memorialized to this day as the nameless Table hero flip of Brindenford, the one who's, even as the town burned, tried, gave his life in an attempt to save others, it's even a, though he did ultimately fail. It's a Christmas miracle. Whatever his <laughs> name was, he is known so, as... And that, so, and that was the start of Fire Festival. <laughs> so I do have a question, though. Like, there's still those, like, eyeball, tentacly gaping maw, smelly garbage things running around, right? Well, they're well, on the they fire. Were burned, they yeah. would have probably been burned to death. But I mean, <gasps> so oh, we promised to send them back. I feel we bad did. for the smelly thing. <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> we they, suck so bad. Yeah. <laughs> we solved literally all our problems they, with <laughs> drugs and fire. Wait, wait, wait! I, I have one thing to say to all of my fellow party members. Was this a good vacation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I feel refreshed. Uh, and you know, obviously, all our thoughts go out to the, uh, the people who died in the Great Brindenford Fire. But we did kill them. <laughs> <laughs> we should get experience. That should try to <laughs> <laughs> the experience points. More than enough to bring you to level four. Yeah. Awesome! Oh. Listen. You know, I don't want, I don't want to get too excited. <laughs> but there are hundreds of towns. <laughs> <laughs> and there are towns them, all over the probably place. Probably none of them have ice giants, <laughs> ice titans to use or fire They'll be codes. easy pickings. <laughs> God, no wonder people <laughs> rate villages there. all the time. <laughs> well, and obviously there's always more drugs. Yeah. <laughs> With countless festivals taking place across the north, there is no end the number of innocent civilians that you could massacre with out-of-control fires. Mm. Tradi new traditions that you could forge. <gasps> I have it. These are not massacres. These are willing sacrifices to the great Lord Lavender. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and that's, exactly. And exactly. that's why the Forgotten Realms are forgotten. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> Burned to the ground. We no did trace. it, guys. We killed all the towns. <laughs> 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 to do something, we had to destroy the village. I think that's to, the lesson. To save the village. <laughs> save the village. <laughs> we had to destroy the village. Question yeah. mark? Mm -hmm. We had to destroy the village. Underline destroy. Right, right. Hearts and minds. If there are no hearts or minds left, right. we win. <laughs> and no one can Listen, blame us. We'll, we'll just put an asterisk <laughs> next to like the great... We saved the people. Asterisk. <laughs> and saved. then at the bottom, we... No, no. We didn't. No, that, that did not happen. All right. Well, that well, was fun. Well, thank that you was very a great much, vacation. everyone. That was yeah. fun. <laughs> a good time. Thank You're a you very, very entertaining much. group. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thanks to our, thank you to our audience for coming along yeah, with us. Thank Thanks to everyone online. Thank you all uh, for hope coming. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Um, I had a wonderful time. You were definitely an interesting group. <laughs> uh, very interesting group. We have personality. Definitely have personality. <laughs>
Well, thank you very I, much. I am a little disappointed I never got to attempt to heal someone because that would have gone well. You know what? We did such a good job that yeah. it wasn't necessary. We really didn't take any damage except for all the damage. Except we for all healed, the damage. We yeah. healed someone with drugs. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did the best healing with choking. That's the, the We best choked. Yeah. We healed. Yeah. Uh, hmm. As far as I know, nobody learned anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Total success. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, right. Mike. Great game. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you for waking me up by choking me. <laughs> and yes, thank you to I everyone do who donated. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. I'm sorry the Wild Magic table was not funnier. <laughs> uh, I know you had a lot of high hopes for that. Hopefully, I made up for it by attacking the Snow Giant's junk. <laughs> <laughs> but if not, I understand if you want a refund, but you can't have one. <laughs> because that's not charity. And I totally forgot about this. Did you Did make you it? Did you get it? Yay! 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 How long were you supposed to wear that, John? The whole game. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, I guess you're going to have to so wear it all day tomorrow. So, so Alex, <laughs> you're the deal maker. Uh, sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just John was yep. supposed to wear that the whole game. Mm -hmm. How long does he have to wear it now at Game Hulk for the rest of Game Hulk? Why were you never like this when you were my business manager? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was. Yeah. Well. Yeah. There's no reason. This is yeah. It's a, it's a Halloween con. Yeah. You should definitely doff the hat the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Wear that hat. Yeah. Wear if that you hat don't, with pride, it's not charity. John. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for it's, for the, it's for the kids. Come yes. on. If you don't, we'll take money away from charity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you already have. So yes. yes. Already we have indeed have. not raised much. No one will be thanking us for this. <laughs> Let's have everyone remind you again who, where you are and where everyone can find you. Oh, oh that uh, thing. I am Sam Sykes. You can find me on Twitter at Sam Sykes Swears, all one word. Uh, if you see me walking around, give me money. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not in your character anymore. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you don't see me walking around, give me money. <laughs> I'm Elisa Teague. Uh, you can find me online at elisateague.com or on Twitter at Geeky Pinup. Hi, I'm Monica Valentinelli. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Books of M. And uh, I'd just like to say, you know, if you're going to do drugs, <laughs> just use them responsibly. Unlike us. Unlike us. <laughs> the, um, as Dungeon Master, I probably have to take some responsibility for the drug content of this thing <laughs> and the burning of the village. No, and I, no, man, that's as the, just remember, as Dungeon Master, I, Jeremy Crawford, <laughs> the Rose of the Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Do not endorse anything that happened at the table today. I was as much of a victim as everyone at home and in the audience here. John. Sorry, Jerry. <laughs> uh, I'm John Kavalik. Uh, my comic, Dork Tower, is at dorktower.com, and all the other links are there as well. Uh, I'm Alex Kammer, uh, the director of GameOlcon. Uh, please uh, continue to do what you're doing and, and support Extra Life. Uh, and, uh, and all the other wonderful charitable opportunities we have at this show. Uh, thanks to all our awesome attendees. Uh, we're going to raise a ton of money for uh, some great, great causes this weekend. So thank you. Awesome. Cool. Yay!